What's going on guys? Two minute warning. The show is about to begin. We got six people queued into the Skyhook match. Awesome. Good stuff guys. Good stuff. Let me out. Don't expect mercy. Nice. over soon. George, am I picking my nose? Obviously I'm picking my nose, man. Pre-stream hype, I gotta pick my nose. You kidding? Man, no worries about bad English, man. Oh, Epic Error gets the win. Well done, Epic Error. Well done. That's going to be our last match, guys, as the timer is about to drop. Here we go. Got you like a fish out of water now. What is going on, everybody? What is going on? I am here with Quasi TV. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Good to have you guys all back here. Good to have you guys here. How is it going? It is a beautiful Tuesday. Epic intro. That's right, Ultra Uber. Dropping that intro today. Dropping that intro. Glad you're around to see it. I think you might have missed it yesterday. Rames, what's going on, Rames? How's it going, buddy? Oh, man. What is up, guys? What is up? George, always loving it. Always loving it. How's it going, dude? Ultra Uber. All right, guys, that was awesome, right? We had a little bit of a pre-stream skyhook. Let's get some pre-stream love in here. I, I kind of missed that. Let me get some pre-stream hype. Treasure ad for everyone hanging out in chat earlier or in time for the countdown. 200 doubloons for you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you for coming through. Let's get today started. How's everybody doing? How are your games? How are your games? How are your games coming along? Remember, as always, if you're new to the channel, if you're working on a game, if you're working on art, if you're working on anything, uh, feel free to share it in chat. Drop a link. Let us know you're going to drop a link about your work so I can check it out. Uh, just in time, Prazzle, what's going on, man? What's going on? Cool, guys. So right off the bat, I was watching, as you know, I was sitting here watching the pre-stream. I uh, was watching the Twitch Play Skyhook pre-stream. I uh, caught a couple of bugs here and there, so I'm going to write those down real quick. Uh, so a couple of things I noticed right off the bat was... The Twitch Plays wasn't uh, uh, restarting matches. I think as you didn't notice, I was actually doing it myself. Um, I turned off betting, which was fine. Uh, I think map voting might be turned off. And then main menu, not auto starting match. And then there was that weird crash. I don't really know what to do about that crash. That was, uh, that was pretty freaky. That was pretty freaky. Damage Vaw, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Spook man, your game is kind of boring. I mean, very, very boring. So is my game. My game's about a cat and a shark fighting with grappling hooks, man. Don't feel free. Don't feel free to share your games, even if you think it's boring. I guarantee you, one of us or all of us will think it's awesome. Let's get to it, guys. I didn't even start any music today. I didn't even start with any music. Let's get some music. We are. I've been quite enjoying Derek Fichter's or Fichter's Fichter's music lately. So I'm going to drop that playlist again. It's been really nice. It's been really nice. Nice change of pace. Uh, PL, betting is in the game. Yeah, we added betting, uh, I think it was yesterday, the day before yesterday. But there were some issues with it. Um, there were some issues in that it was kind of really spamming the chat. It was stealing tokens from people or stealing doubloons from people because it would have errors and stuff like that. So I took it out for now. Uh, what I need to do is kind of get a whole screen together uh, so it's less chat invasive and more just on the screen. It says who you should bet for and stuff. Uh, so we'll do that in a future future thing. For now, I think it's fine just awarding a thousand doubloons to everyone. And then we'll add second place and third place, stuff like that too. Uh, today, Ultra Uber fight you. Oh, in a battle. Yeah, nice getting a battle together, guys. Early battles. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so we're not going to try to spend too much time on Twitch Play Skyhook today. We're going to try to move along back to some pixel art, uh, back to some regular game dev stuff. 
uh, we have very much been neglecting our Steam audience, working on so much Twitch Play Skyhook. We need to make sure we get our Steam update ready for this week, guys. We got to make sure we test it all and all that kind of stuff. My mouth has sound delay. Oh no, is it a long delay? Let's see, sound delay. Hmm. Microphone, headset, headset. How is the is the delay really bad, Ultra Uber? 0.4 seconds. Oh, that's that's frustrating. Oh yeah, I'm seeing it now. I am seeing it now. Ken, Ken, no delay for you. That's good. No Pook, what's up? No Pook, how's it going? Spooky man, Skyhook on Steam. Yeah, Skyhook is out on Steam early access. You can check it out now. It is five dollars. Uh, why do we have a delay in my audio? I don't know. I have my OBS set here to zero offset. Is that right? Can you set this to minus? Oh, you can. Oh, that's crazy. Minus one millisecond? What if it's minus six milliseconds? No delay for UPL. All right, guys, I'm going to set it to minus one milliseconds. It's the worst that could happen. Oh, man, we lost some good crew members out there. Alright, maybe it might be a, a isolated case for the delay. <laughs> Damage ball, go and teabag that follow button. That's our mods right there, guys. That's our mods. PL on fire with, with battles. Sweet, sweet, sweet. By the way, guys, I don't know if you noticed, we got a fancy, fancy new lighting setup. Check out all this sweet lighting. All thanks to all the donations by you guys. Uh, Wild Paradox, Prazzle, so many people. Uh, Quasi, uh, Trundle, how much percent do I get from that $5? I don't believe, Steam usually takes a lot of money away. I don't believe I can say how much I can. I think it's part of the uh, Steam's uh, NDA or whatever. But don't worry about it, man. Steam sales, uh, it's not really about the percentage for me. It's more about just having more people own the game and get it out on Steam. So I appreciate you. Appreciate you asking, man. Uh, at some point, I'm going to put it up on Itch.io very soon so that like uh, Itch.io gives 100% of the money to the, uh, to the developer. So we'll get it up there. Uh, Ultra Uber is like a 0.5 seconds. All right, I, I, I made my delay minimum, or I, I made a negative delay on my audios. Maybe that'll help, man. Sorry, Ultra Uber. Just don't look at my face. Just don't look at my, don't look at my face. Look, look, at, look, at the look at the screen. Look at the screen. Don't look at my face. Let me know if you guys start uh, experiencing worse and worse delays, and we'll have to see what we can do about it. Maybe I'll restart this stream. Uh, so right off the bat, Twitch plays controller. So a change I made yesterday was that it needs to be activated by keyboard when I press F4. Now it looks like what's happening is it's no longer doing it when it comes to the main menu. So if not activated return, if next time move, return. If not menu scene, return. Ah, ha ha ha. This is the problem. So I believe that should wrap. If is menu scene, should wrap all of this logic right here. Wait, what? Where is our, um... Huh. Where is our game over stuff? I wonder how the game over was ever actually... Let's see. I think it's on bet match or match ended or whatever. Ultra Uber, but how I look beautiful. Yeah, it's this lighting, man. This lighting is so sweet. I got these two gigantic... They, like, burn my eyes when I look at them. These two gigantic soft boxes. Uh, no, Pook, how do I get your game? How do I get my game on Steam? Is there an unfair system for indie developers called Greenlight? <laughs> yeah, I went through the Greenlight process, man. I don't think it was that unfair. It was pretty cool. It took me three months on Greenlight. I had mostly had no idea what I was doing. It was my first time. Uh, but yeah, but for three months, I got Greenlight, and now the game's on Steam, so I, I can't really complain. Uh, it's definitely tough. It's getting harder and harder because there's so many games on Greenlight. But um, yeah, I mean, if I make another game, or when I make my next game, I'm going to put it on Greenlight as long as Greenlight's alive. Uh, let's see, on map vote, update highest score, on match started, end match. So here is end match. It gets called by the Twitch match controller when it sends the points to the winner. And it does stream delay plus two seconds. If not activated, return, start this core routine, on match ended. Oh, it's still waiting for the map votes. That's the problem. So I think for now, I am going to skip all of that. Because I really didn't even like how the map voting was working. A, it was really cluttering up chat. And B, 
it was really cluttering up chat. A and B is the same. Right now we're just going to confirm all players so it goes back to the main menu. And now the main menu should be activated. Let's see. If uh, main menu controller, uh, I think I know what I did wrong. So here I put uh, F4. On F4 it calls activate, yeah. If Twitch plays mode and key code F4, then activate. Uh, and on awake, activate is set to false. We don't want to do that. That might be what was the problem. Let's give us another shot, guys. Here we go. Twitch plays Skyhook round 93. Let's do it. Get ready. Get your hashtag plays ready if you want in on this match. Remember, if you win a match in Twitch Play Skyhook, you get 1,000 doubloons. Steiner trying to learn C Sharp so hard. So hard. It's all good, man. If you have any questions about C Sharp at all, just ask in chat. Uh, Netbook, what's the add-on called that displays your code in overview at the right in Visual Studio? Uh, I will show you once I jump back into Visual Studio, my friend. I'm using a combination of ReSharper and a custom scroll bar that Visual Studio has built in. Ultra Uber, yeah man, I watch tutorials on 1.5 speed too. Sometimes too if the guy talks really slow. Alright, we got Pestilent Mars. Welcome Pestilent Mars. Napook for the first time. Ultra Uber. Prazzle, Prazzle is in. Prazzle, our latest donator. Prazzle is freaking awesome. DMC7, C Sharp is easy. Alright, here we go guys. Oh, there's the other bug. Let's write that, I gotta write that down. Uh, double confirming on map select. All right, here we go. We got Pestilent Mars, Ultra Uber, Prazzle, and who was Finn? Nepook fighting it out for 1,000 doubloons. So right now, these bots are fighting for them. You guys can vote for what power-ups they get. If someone's bot wins, they get 1,000 doubloons. Uh, ooh, what we'll also do is um, assign first place ranks. Give out treasures that way. Wow, double kill right there. It's just down to Napook and Ultra Uber. Oh, and Napook for a first win. Well done, my friend. Well done. Napook. Napook. Let's see. Is the game going to restart itself? Let's hope so. It's supposed to. Gives out the points. Waits for the stream delay. There it is. Drops the points. And then it restarts. Now. Right hey, about now. Hey, Scuff. Scuff, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, Scuff. How is it going? Okay, the game did not restart. Let's check our... What we call that smoke? Data manager, Twitch managers, Twitch plays. We need to make this public so we can see it. Oh, it's static. That's the problem. All right. Well done, Napook. Well done. Okay, I'm going to stop making this public. <clears throat> stop making this static. Or sorry, I didn't mean public. I meant static. Uh, man, I use that everywhere. Great. Just great. Let's do instance. Cause I want to be able to see it. Not instantiate. Dot instance. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dot, 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 M. There we go. So we want to drop some M instances all over the place. We're going to drop it over here. We're going to drop it over there. Oh, we got two dots. We only need one dot. Drop it over there. We're going to drop it over there. Maybe some over here. You look like you could use some instance. And you look like some instance too. I don't know if you deserve instance, but you'll get it anyway. Uh, okay, now we get to track it. I feel like it's not being activated. Let's, look, let's walk through the code one more time. Twitch plays. We're going to put a breakpoint in it this time too for some more proper debugging. So end match, confirm all players, bet command. So this is not even getting called. For sure this is not getting called. I'm gonna put a break point right there and we're gonna look for who calls it. Send points to winner calls it. Blah, 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 won the match. We saw that happen. If Twitch plays controller that means M instance, then end match. Stream delay plus two. Winner ID, I deleted that. If not activated, return. Okay, we'll put a breakpoint here and here. Let's attach it to Unity. And let's try another match. 
one error, zero errors. All right, here we go. Let's do this one more time, guys. And here we go. And there it is. And for sure this time. Unity will not crash. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. 25 seconds, guys. Hashtag play in chat if you want to join this Skyhook match. Oh, man, you guys can see the edge of my green screen. How embarrassing. Oh, not that edge. It's this edge. Womp. Hashtag professional. All right, five seconds to go. We got seven people in. All right, that makes it eight. And the winners are seven dazed. Pestilent Mars again. Napoke again. And Ultra Uber again. Nice, guys. Defend your titles. We got a whole bunch of ninjas in this match. Three live death match. Random stage. Here we go. Twitch play Skyhook. We got to fix that annoying double click bug. All right, here we go. Ultra Uber, Pestilent Mars. No seven days in the poke. You guys could vote for power ups they get Cannon, Griffin, or Invisi. Griffin's my favorite power up, just so you know. Cannon gets a vote. Griffin gets a vote. Griffin gets another vote. Oh, here we go. Ninjas on ninjas. All right, everyone gets a Griffin. The Griffin power up gives everyone a mount that allows them to fly around and shoot lightning from their Griffin's mouth. The Poke and Ultra Uber abandon their Griffin. Seven days trying to shock Ultra Uber. Jumps off his Griffin. Jumps back on his Griffin. Gets killed by Ultra Uber while on his Griffin. And Ultra Uber for the win. And here we go. We got our break points. Activated is true. Cool. So we can step into this method. And then here I should confirm all players. And let's let it continue. And continue. So, okay, I know what's happening now. I think this is just happening too soon. Ultra Uber gets his doubloons. Well done, Ultra Uber. Well done. Wow, it's so windy outside. I could hear the wind from in here. That's insane. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop this. I think what's happening is this is happening immediately as soon as the things drop. So let's go into this coroutine. Stream delay plus nine. Yikadies, yikadies. Let's just say three, and then confirm all players. And then for now, we are going to comment this stuff out. Okay, the second thing was there was this annoying, annoying, annoying uh, double click awesome here. The awesome? Why did I say awesome? I just say awesome sometimes. Is that what it is? Uh, star row key, quarantine, press start, current state. Press start. I'm going to go down here. Uh, uh, whoop, whoop, yup, doop. And actually, I'm going to say move delay plus four seconds and return. So we're going to add an extra move delay on that first map selection. All right, guys, let's do this one more time. If you guys are just joining us, we are doing Twitch. We just imp we're making Twitch Play Skyhook, and we are playing Twitch Play Skyhook. So you guys can get in on the next match. If you win, you get 1,000 channel doubloons. Type hashtag play into chat now for a chance to spawn in as a bot for the next match. All right, we got Ultra Uber, seven days. Rusty, what's up, Rusty? Security risk, what's going on? The poke is back in. Mr. Matt. DM67, it's so great seeing familiar faces or familiar names as guys. It's so awesome seeing people. Oh, I should go this way. Seeing people I recognize. So cool. All right, Ultra Uber, Rusty, Security Risk, X and F. Whole bunch of sharks in this match. Whole bunch of sharks. Ah, Buttery Toast, just missed it, my friend. Just missed it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mike, just missed it too. All right, here we go. Security Risk, Ultra Uber, Rusty, and X and F. You guys can vote for what power-ups they get. Griffin and Vizzy Speed. Speed gets a vote. Sharks are dominating right now, but there are three of them. Speed gets another vote. Oh, Griffin! Whoa! Griffin dominates! Griffin takes over right here. All the bots trying to lightning each other with their Griffin mounts, flying them around. You guys, remember, you could play this game. It's out on Steam Early Access. You could fly a Griffin with your 
friends and shoot them in the face with grappling hooks as well. Alright, Cannon gets the win on this round. Oh, Ultra Uber knocked out by the Cannon. Falls off screen. XNF gets the win. Okay, I should wait four seconds and then it should confirm this panels. So after he gives the doubloons, there we go. All right, it worked, guys. We'll make this the last one. Streaming Bunny, Streaming Bunny, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. We are doing Twitch Play Skyhook. We are making it and playing it and doing it and dancing while we do it. All right, guys, this is going to be our last Twitch Play Skyhook match, so get in now. I mean, last for this hour, probably, before we get back into doing some hardcore working, 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 working. Type hashtag play now to get into the queue, guys. Time's running out. It's Finn, not Jin, Ultra Uber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's Finn, not Jin, man. That's why you keep getting random. Hey, Buttery Toast in for the first time. Mr. Matt, what's up? Seven days in DMC7, back for vengeance. Back for vengeance. It's going to be three live death matches. It's going to be a random stage. Hey, just got here. Arctic, what's up, man? Welcome back, welcome back. All right, here we go, guys. Tombs of Raw. You guys can vote for it. Power ups, they get Buttery Toast picks up first blood. Murder, seven dazed. You guys can vote for Mirror, Griffin, or Shield. No, or Invisi, Invisi, not Shield. So this is a game, if you haven't seen it before, this is Skyhook. It's a 2D platformer where you fight with grappling hooks. It's a local multiplayer game and it's out now on Steam Early Access. We have, we are kind of putting the, the final little bow on Twitch Play Skyhook and it's going pretty well, it's going pretty well. Oh, we got Griffins. I love when Griffin away, man. Griffins are too cool. Griffins are too cool. Stream Bunny, Linux support. Yeah, Linux support. Had to do it, had to do it. Mirror gets the vote. Everyone turns into the red cat. All right, we got cats all around. Cats all around. If you guys are wondering how the game works, you can jump around. You can shoot your grappling hook to swing around and use it to kill your foes. You can perform melee attacks and you can dodge in the air and on the ground. Security risk, have we finished the Crab Captain? That's gonna be today, we're gonna start that right after this match. We're gonna start the Crab Captain. Or finish up the Crab Captain, hopefully. Crab Captain, if you guys don't know, is our fifth character in the game. Buttery Toast, 420 for the win. Pestilent Mars, yeah, I'm hearing the sound breaks too, man. Buttery Toast gets the win. Well done, well done. Yeah, Pestilent Mars, I'm not sure what happened. It's, um, it's ever since, uh, I don't even know when it started. It's just, just recently since we started streaming. Um, and my sound would start breaking up while I'm streaming. It's really frustrating. For, it happens to the music and stuff too. Um, so I don't know what it is. I don't know. If, someone said it might be my computer overheating, which would suck, kind of. Buttery Toast, beginner's luck. It's all hacks, man. Don't worry. I pressed the make Buttery Toast win button. Crab Captain for the win. Well done, guys. Green like is what's up, buddy? What's up? But yeah, Pestle Mars, I don't know what's going on with that audio. I don't know if I need to buy a new uh, computer, audio card, headphones, and it only happens while I'm streaming, so it's some, definitely something to do with the fact that I'm you know running OBS and running everything else. Uh, but it only happens while I'm streaming. It doesn't happen when I'm just you know hanging out, picking my nose, and working on the game. PL, there's oh no such thing as luck, only rigged system. You better believe it. It's probably the capture software while it's recording. Yeah, so I guess I could, I could blame it on OBS. Uh, I'm going to give XSplit a try this week uh, and see how that works out. I applied for their uh, indie XSplit thing. I haven't heard back from them yet, so it would be cool if I got that. Uh, but I do want to give XSplit a try, and we'll see if that helps with the audio problems at all. Uh, this is Finn. We are not working on Finn. We are working on Layer 6, which should be renamed to Grimlock. Grimlock. If you guys don't know, the Crab Captain's name is Grimlock. Yeah, stream buddy. I'm gonna give X Split a try. It's pretty. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. It's got some nice fading effects and stuff like that. Uh, the only problem is it's a monthly subscription, uh, so that kind of gets a little bit uh, tough, a little tiff. But um, yeah, I'm totally gonna give X Split a try this week. Maybe I'll, I'll set that up tonight. I know they have like a free tier or something. Is that right? What I couldn't figure out is I couldn't get the intro working on X Split. I couldn't get like the audio from the intro to play. So if we got any exploit pros in the house, hey Pyro Firusk, Pyro, what's up? Welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow. Pestle, it sounds like a sound card problem. The break isn't in my microphone input. Oh, really? Huh? Then it could be. Yeah, the computer's internal audio. Change the audio settings in OBS. Maybe you have something changed by accident. Let's take a look. 
Fish. Audio. Fish. Hey, Buttery Toast. Thank you for the follow, Buttery Toast. Welcome to the crew. Desktop audio device is set to the headset. Uh, I could just set that to default. Mic is headset. Force to mono, I've heard, helps with performance. Uh, so we can try that. Let's see if that helps, guys. Pyro, what's up, buddy? What's up? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. We are about to work on some pixel art of our fifth character for Skyhook, the Crab Captain. This guy over here, he's got a big old meaty claw. He's going to use it to scissor, or whoa, scissor? Slice people in the face. So let's get to it. We started working on the base poses yesterday. There we are. So we're going the base poses yesterday. It's not quite working out. I can already see he's jumping, and I don't even like that at all. So if you guys don't know what I'm working in, this program is Pixel Edit. It is my preferred pixel animation program. It's pretty sweet, mainly because it's got this awesome playback window right over here. Hey, we got a follow from the streaming bu the streaming bunny. Welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, streaming bunny. How is it going? Just gonna make him so he's not jumping so high here. Keep his head steady, and we can worry about the arcs later on in his jump. So we want to try to get a really quick, basic version of this down, so we can see what it looks like in the game, see if it feels good. Uh, oops, looks like when I draw with my Cintiq, I totally fall off the camera. So, there we go. Alright, I'm going to try not to lean in so much. Probably better for my eyes, especially with these giant lamps burning my face. Boop doop. But what's going on with you guys? How's everybody doing? How are your weeks coming along? Uh, is Pixel really better for Pixel Art than Photoshop? What is the difference? Epic error. The difference is this right here. This window. This is the only reason. This is the main reason I use Pixel Edit. It's great for tile editing because it has like tile mapping tools. Daniel here has no sound breaks. Maybe it's gotten better. Maybe it's gotten better. We set it to mono. Uh, but the great thing about Pixel Edit here is that it's just playing the animation back in real time while I'm working, right? So I don't have to keep checking it or hit any play blast, play blast tools or play buttons or anything. I, all I have to do is literally look over and be like, huh. That looks like crap. Or, huh, that looks like awesome. So that's what I really like about uh, Pixel Edit. It also has the onion skinning tools, which is cool too. Whoop, 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 nope, please don't go over there. You just, just stay where you are, buddy. Just stay there. Just need to pixel your brush. Brush your pixels. Frames here at sound breaks when the game was running, not really now. Cool. I set my sound to mono. I was reading uh, sometime this week that that might help. Uh, I'm kind of hearing sound breaks in the music, though. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing sound breaks in the music. So, end of the world, guys. It's all over. We're as good as dead. Hopefully, it's my computer. Or, hopefully, it's not my computer, and hopefully, it's the software. But yeah, it's been happening since. Uh, Maybe because the music is more louder today, so you guys can hear it clear. So I could turn it down. Epic error! You could put, open another window and play it through. Open the same document. Yeah, totally. But will it will it keep playing while you're working? Because that's pretty cool. I don't know you could have two timeline editors in one. I thought I just had one timeline editor. Security risk, yeah, the music is breaking. Man, our stream's just falling apart, guys. It's just falling apart. All right, I'm animating in his hat here, watching the edges, trying to make sure they make sense. Not too worried about the shading. Pistol Mars, it's the audio card. Worst comes to worst, so just buy a new motherboard that's compatible with your parts. That way you don't have to buy a new computer. It's cheaper to buy parts. But it doesn't like, to switch out your motherboard, don't you have to like pretty much rip apart the entire thing? If I could have to buy a motherboard, I'm going to want to like buy a whole new computer now. Tech problems with streams are as soon as you get popular. Yeah, I blame all of you guys. All your darn 96 people watching this stream. 
It's all your fault. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I wonder, can I get like an external sound card? Would that, you think, make a difference? I don't have to change my whole motherboard? I mean, we could just quit streaming altogether. That might be the real solution. Maybe this is just Twitch telling, or Twitch, the universe being like, hey, man, your stream's too crazy. Stream by 99 people. Yeah, you 99 people are freaking awesome. You guys are here to watch a crab captain get animated. Let's do it. Win some doubloons. This is Quasi TV where the points don't, or what is it? Something, 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 the points don't matter. I forgot what they say in whose line is anyway. Uh, coloring in the brim of his hat here. Watching the playback, making sure it's kind of working. Daniel, you have 99 problems, but sound breaking isn't one. Uh, Pestle Mars, just unplug everything. All computer parts slide into a slot so you can take it apart easily. Uh, and there are external cards. Cool, cool, cool. Try streaming on YouTube for two minutes or so. How do you stream on YouTube? I don't even really understand how to do the YouTube gaming thing. I don't, I don't really get how you start streaming on YouTube and then how you like watch somebody streaming. When I try to go watch people streaming, it like takes me to their channel and then there's like videos and I don't want to watch their videos. I want to just see them. And then when I go and it's too late, I can't find the recordings. I don't know. Uh, Ultra Uber, play uh, stream on YouTube and see if it's breaking. That's an interesting idea. The show that everything is made up and the points don't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the show where everything is pixel art and the points don't matter. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. PL, thank you for so much. This is the show where everything is pixel art and the points don't matter. But they do matter, guys. I got some really cool ideas for what I want to do with our doubloons. I was talking with, with about Dan, talking to Dan about it yesterday. Uh, I want to work on some mini games. Actually, I want to ask you guys. So, you know, we do a lot of Skyrim game development on stream, obviously, obviously, for good reason. Uh, what I want to do, too, is I want to start spending some of my spare, my free time, which I don't have, which I'm going to make, um, to work on games for our channel. I want to make some quasi-TV quasi, stream, quasi -TV stream games, and I want to know, do you guys think I should work on those on the stream, or should I work on those privately off stream? Do you guys Would you guys want to watch me make more Twitch games? Security risk, early access. For the balloons, yeah, someone someone rec rec uh, thought that uh, mentioned that yesterday that I should make it so you could actually buy a Skyhook with the balloons. Not too sure about it yet, but I'm definitely giving it some serious thought. That would be interesting. I'm not sure how the logistics of that would work out. People just start spamming my channel for Steam keys. So I'm watching the back of his hat here. It gets really long. And then it gets really narrow. And then it comes in. Doesn't really make sense. It starts off really pointed and then it gets really rounded. So we want to try to make sure we maintain that pointed shape. I always want to make sure our character is somewhat on model, even while he's animating through these kind of complex movements. So I'm watching this area right here, the pointed edge of his hat, and seeing how it tracks through space. And if it makes any sense whatsoever. What's going on guys? What am I missing? It's nice, been, it's been nice giving you guys ideas. So on stream for me. Of course we want to watch you. Ultra Uber, sweet. You guys would want to watch. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool guys. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I'm going to start working on that soon. I got some crazy ass ideas. So we can make a game where you guys have like your own avatars. And you can buy like equips. Um, so I kind of want to make like an entire like quasi RPG. Where you guys can actually buy equips and stuff like that. Using your doubloons and like gear up your characters. Uh, buy mounts and stuff. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. And of course, we'll do it all in Unity. Do it all in Unity. Alright. So this hat is almost a thing. We could probably polish up some of these pixels later. Uh, I'm just going to...
fill in some of the shading. So right now we're still in a fairly rough shape, guys. We're still in a fairly rough shape. We're not trying to take this to final. We're just trying to get some more readable shapes in here. Because there's still a lot of stuff like I can see right here. His eyes should lag behind. Even exaggerated. So cool thing about Grimlock is he's like the most exaggerated character. He's very like gummy in his movements. There, Twitch manager myself using the API, or is there another? Is there a controller downloadable? Downloadable. It is a huge smile, Daniel. Yeah, what's below his eyes is a huge smile. Um, Nipok, we used uh, Twitch IRC, which is an open source library for listening on the Twitch chat ports. Uh, side view RPG. What? Pestilent, you're insane. Streaming buddy, distracting you from making your streaming buddy. What's your game, man? Please share a link or a GIF or a YouTube video or a trailer or whatever. We want to see your game, buddy. If you guys are working on a game and you're on stream, this is a channel where it's all about selfless, prom selfless promo self promotion, self-promotion, uh, shameless self-promotion. All right. We do nothing but encourage shameless, shameless. So I can't even say that. I only, only, only encourage shameless self-promotion here on stream, guys. So if you are working on a thing, if you're making a thing. And I want to frickin' see it. In fact, if you're not showing it to me, then you're really doing us a disservice. Because I, I want to see it. Want it. Maple Story 3 confirmed. That's right, Pestilent. You heard it here on Quasi TV. We are gonna make Twitch Plays Maple Story. Oh my god, imagine? That'd be crazy. As far as no one has done that yet. And maybe somebody will do it now now that I said it. I actually I didn't think about a platformer RPG pestilent. I was thinking more along the lines of Ragnarok Online. I was actually a Ragnarok player and not a uh, Maple Story player. So I was thinking more top-down Pixel Art RPG. <sighs> Streaming Bunny, search for Running Man. Runner Man, is that your game? Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so we got to worry about his feet here because his feet is all over the place. So remember, if you guys remember, the challenge is these animations, these, uh, whoa, what's all these holes here? These, um, this melee animation needs to both work for on the ground and in the air because I'm a lazy jerk and I don't want to do separate animations for on the ground and in the air. And so I reuse the same one for both situations. Moving his hat back. Grimlock's mouth on last frame are taken apart. Ah, good catch, good catch. So it should be... Thank you for catching that. <clears throat> Kappa, didn't see me go online. What's up, man? We are online. Did your emails betray you again? We are here, and we are crabby. We are animating Grimlock the Crab Captain. He is going to be the fifth character in Skyhook, guys. If you haven't seen him before, you're getting your first look at Grimlock the Crab Captain. How is he going to be unlocked? I have no idea. We're going to have to figure that out on stream as well. This week, we're going to work on single-player uh, content for Skyhook, which you need to play in order to unlock Grimlock. Aha, see what I did there? Roughing in his little chicken nugget legs. All the characters in Sky have little chicken nugget legs and feet. So again, this animation has to work for jumping, uh, for le on the ground and in the air. Uh, Grimlock, why not Grimclaw? I don't know, Xero, I just thought Grimlock was a cool name. Uh, Trundle, any tips on how to learn C Sharp? Uh, <clears throat> Ultra Uber, you'll be making some apps for Windows or games. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Code Academy is a great place to start to learn to code. Damage Vault always has great advice. Learn to code, code to learn, or don't learn to code, code to learn. 
Um, yeah, if you just even if you just YouTube like C Sharp tutorials, uh, if you want to learn specifically C Sharp, like Code Academy doesn't have C Sharp, but if you don't know any programming at all, I would start with like Java or something simple. Um, but yeah, YouTube like we were taking a look at some of their tutorials the other day. Like they're right off the bat, they're like learn C Sharp tutorials are fantastic. Just watch them at double speed, and you'll get them done, man. You'll get them done. But if you don't have, if you don't have any experience with object oriented programming or anything like that, I would definitely start with something simple just in Code Academy. Do it. Just do it, Damage Ball. That's right. That's right. That's right. Noticing his body loses a lot of of its shape here. It's a lot wider in the first frame, and then the crab hammer, the claw kind of covers up most of that. Uh, so we'll color this in gray. All right, now we're going to give this a shot in game to see if we're on the right track. Because you know what can happen? We can work on this for all this time and totally be on the wrong track, right? So we want to make sure we check how this is feeling, looking, and crabbing in game before we can take it too much further. But I don't hate it. Usually I hate stuff. I don't hate it. I can see a lot of areas where it needs improvement, but I don't hate it. All right, let's drop this in. So it's cool about Pixelite, it has a little export window that stays here up top for whenever you need it. So we're gonna save that over. We're gonna go to Skyhook, Assets, Sprites. Where is it, where is it? There it is, Characters, Grimlock, Grimlock's main. And then now we can just hit save whenever we want and it'll save that sprite sheet. Java, yes, Curity Race Java was also the first object-oriented program, uh, programming language I learned. In college, that was they they made you learn Java for like freaking years, just Java and Java and more Java. We're gonna allow debug. Uh, Kappa, you tried to animate with a sprite. Yeah, man, it's not really the tool. The tool doesn't make it easy at all. It's like I animate the same I do in Pixel Edit than I did in Graphic Scale, and the same I would when I was working in Photoshop. Um, it's just a practice, man. Zero, can you post a link of one of your work? Absolutely, my friend. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hook. Let's see that link. Oh, it's Uber. It's weird how his eyes go up. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's take a look at that. It's weird how his eyes go up. Yeah, his eyes go up, but his body doesn't. Looks like his head goes up, too. Yeah, so his body just needs to go up. Because, like, right here, he's going up one pixel and then here is kind of in the air so i think what it's trying to what i'm trying to sell it it is me what i'm trying to sell is that this is happening and he's actually jumping and then landing here oh nice csc 135 pestle and mars learning java in college awesome man yeah they have, i think java is just like a safest place to start students uh, we are going to set our character to Grimlock. I think that's already set. Let's give this a shot. Don't need no music. Grimlock and... Alright, alright. I don't hate it. Let me see. Claw you in the face. Hmm. The timing doesn't feel quite good. Let me claw this guy. Ah, our lives are too low. So I'm going to generate our skins for Grimlock. Eyes are well made. Thanks, man. Zero dropped the link for his thing. What? This is sick, dude. What is this for? Dude, like spaceships, like a bullet hell shooter. Dude, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Uh, Titan Roboduck, you know, I work with C, but you're working on a program in Java, but you can't re re redefine a double if you could help with that. Awesome. Can you post a link with the code? Uh, what do you mean by redefine a double? In You could, like, cast it. So, like, RoboDuck, if you like have like double um, something equals seven, and you want to make float something f equal, you could just cast float to the double, and then now your double will be converted into a float. And you can do the same thing with integer, 
You could do integer something i equals cast int to that double. Hope that answers your question, RoboDuck. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Trundle, any other language to program other than Java? Um, not, I mean, actual Java program, I mean, like Android is, you know, actual Android programming is in Java. You could use an engine like Unity and do it in C Sharp. Uh, what am I missing, guys? What am I missing? Cool. Oh, Kappa, a new beta of Krita. It got animations now. Let's see this. Let's see this. It's loading. What is Krita? Oh, that 2D thing. Cool, cool, cool. Oh wow, nice! That is some beautiful animation. This is cool. So it's a 2D paint software. I gotta look into this. I wanna start getting into more 2D animation. How much is this program? Ah, oh, I love that. I've seen that before. I can't read any of this! Please, mom! How much is it? You want to redefine the value of the double, uh, then you should just be able to do. Where's my? You should just be able to do something equals nine. But yeah, if you really, if you need a ton of help, RoboDuck, uh, you dropped your code in chat already, I think. Uh, what the fuck is? I don't even know what's happening in this code. It's all VARs. Kappa, correct link. Krita, alpha, cool. How much is it? Is it a million dollars? Is it free? Oh. I will download this as soon as I'm done. Sweet dude. I'm keeping that open. I will download that once the stream is over. Yeah, var is just a, it's a variable. Oh, var is the name of it. And it's a double. Everything looks fine. Your code looks great, man. Where are you having the problem? Krita is free. Sweet. Good to know. Oh, actually, I think I know somebody who works in Krita, now that I think about it. All right, here we go. Zero, it's a X Zero. It's a shoot 'em up mixed with Gunstar Hero and Mega Man. That is awesome. Those are two of my two of most of my favorite things. All right, so I'm immediately seeing one of the issues is the attack animation isn't holding very long. You don't even see it. Like you don't see this frame at all. The big chompy chomp frame. Right, you mostly just see it when it's closed. So if I gotta go to try to kill this guy over here, it wasn't awful, but hmm, you don't quite feel it. Uh, X Zero, do I know a great program called A Sprite? I haven't usually yet used it yet, but people have definitely been talking about it quite a bit here on stream. So I gotta look into it. Let's look at Finn. So Finn's animation is open like that, and then he chomps down on this frame, and then he comes down. Hmm. I wonder why it's not reading so well. Whoa, no, don't do that. It's funny because Grimlock's animation is a lot like Finn's animation, but his mouth is the claw instead. Could drop this some more. If you guys are just joining us, we are animating Grimlock the Crab Captain for our 2D platformer like Skyhook called Skyhook. So this is like Smash Brothers. Yeah, Zero is very much inspired by Smash Bros. Ultra Uber, you're out of here. See ya, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we are going back into the game. Yes, guys, so this is a local multiplayer platformer. You can play like I'm playing right here. You can play against bots if you don't have any friends around. And you can play it with your friends if you have multiple game pads. Uh, it is out on Steam Early Access. We are making the fifth character, who is this pink crab captain. You're going to melee the shark right there. It's not terrible. I don't... It's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's not totally 
awful. There's not enough twist in his head and body for sure. But it's not awful. And because we're starting to fall behind on the on Grimlock's deadlines, we're going to have to keep moving. <clears throat> Damage, you added some, and gates to your game. Sweet! Uh, Napook, in the fourth fray, make the claw a bit more open. One, two, three, four. Yeah, what's tough is it doesn't... That actually ruins some of the snappiness of the movement. Oh, wrong frame. But that could help. Let's give it a shot. That might help with some readability. I'm also going to erase these effects here. We worry about all that stuff post. Um, so I want to turn his head more. So we want him to turn his head right there. And right now his mouth and everything else is kind of still staying in the same area. So it's Luckily in pixel art, it's as simple as just shifting over a couple of pixels. Now it looks like he turns. Color in this stuff. Get his the line in his little crabby crab mouth in there. One more time, shift his mouth over. Yeah, Tiny Robot, it's weird. How much coffee do I go through a day? That's a good question, Arctic. I drink two cups a day, uh, one cup when I wake up, and then one cup while I'm streaming. And then if I have a crazy deadline or something to do, something intense that I have to finish, then I might have a third cup in the evening. Uh, which usually means I don't end up sleeping. Or I can't sleep because of it. What about you guys? How much co how much coffee do you guys drink in a day? I'm curious to know. Because I always feel like I drink way too much. Alright, just those one pixels may look like he's kind of turning his head. Which is cool. Looking at the pixels in his hat here, making sure nothing is going out of off model. Wait, what? 10 to 12 cups? You mean like 10 to 12 metric units of cups, right? You don't, you definitely don't mean actual cups of coffee, do you, Rames? Because then you might be a robot. PL 5 to 10 cups? You get, wait, how, wait. What? You guys mean 10 cups, like the measurement of cups, not like a mug. You drink 10 mugs of coffee a day? Are you guys sure you're not actually dead and haunting us from beyond? Mr. Matt, never drink coffee. You can't handle caffeine. It makes you feel dizzy. Oh man, that sucks. There's no cup metric unit? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what measure it says some cups are in, but holy shiberonis. You guys drink five to 10 cups of coffee a day. That's awesome. Five to ten mugs, PL, that's insane. That's so cool. I want to get to your level, man. I want to get to that level. More coffee. More coffee, please. Someone bring me some coffee right now. So I could drink more like these guys. That's so awesome. George, you don't need any coffee. Oh, you're lucky. You're naturally fueled. Naturally fueled. I, might, I, sir, am not naturally fueled. I need all the coffees. Please just bring me all the coffees right now so I could drink them. So right now I'm trying to make it so like his hat looks like it's turning with his head. And then it looks like it's kind of turning back. But I'm seeing a pop, so it goes from there. So it's like two, two, and then one, and then two, and then one.
we go. Am I even coffee, bro? <clears throat> I'm, I'm not very coffee, man. Yeah, Derek. Oh, Derek was awesome. Derek raided my house the other day while we were streaming. He's uh, he's actually since moved away, though, sadly. So we probably won't be seeing him for a while. Unless that was all a ploy, just so he could make me uh, drop my guard and he could raid us again. So I'm seeing some pops here in the hat. So it goes from 2 to 1, back to 2. So if we watch these pixels right there, they're kind of staying static throughout the animation. We don't want that. We want them to move around. I like to have all my pixels moving a little bit, at least if I can notice them. Like this pixel right here is staying still. I might make him blink right there. Most of the characters kind of blink on their melee. See if can we make him get a convincing blink? This giant crab eyes. Where does it look bad? Yeah, it looks really obvious because of his gigantic eyes. So we might not do that. Let's see if we straighten out his eyes, will it look better? What's going on, guys? PL, you must be an alien, no other explanation. Ha ah, you've outed yourself. Uh, Tiny Robug, nothing you can change yet. You can show what moves and such. Hey, thank you for the follow from O Fosters. O Fosters, welcome to the crew. You're watching Skyhook Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks. We are animating Grimlock the Crab Captain. Let's jump into the game and see what this guy's looking like. We add a little bit more of an opening here to his claw. Just tiny little pixel changes and hoping that it makes a difference in the game. This is kind of screwing up the silhouette of his face. Whoa, look at how mutated his face is here. Color some of that in. Clean some of this up so he doesn't look as difficult to read. And then this looks like it's just one pixel off. All right, let's drop that into the game and give it another look, give it another shot. Caffeine monsters from the planet Espresso. That's awesome. All right, here is Grimlock. Here is his melee. It's not looking awful. His face is still not turning as much as I would hope. Whoop! Didn't I mean, don't you guys could ignore that. Don't don't listen to that. Daniel, you can't unsee teeth when you look at him. Yeah, he's got big old teeth. Um, hey, Brodern! Brodern, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, my friend. You're watching Skyhook Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks. Yeah, he's got these big old teeth. Because he wants to eat you. I don't know if you guys know Grimlock, but Grimlock likes to eat. He eats the other characters in the game. One of his opening lines for his voice acting is, Y'all look good enough to eat. And he's not a cannibal because he's a shark. He's a crab. He's a meat-eating crab. Alright, let's get this in here. I'm trying to make his mouth move over quite a little bit more. So it really looks like he's turning his head. And we probably want to do too is change the volume of his head here. So it at least goes more screen right. So 
here he reels back, goes forward. Now what we could also do is bring his shoulder forward. And then bring it back. Because right here, it looks like his shoulder is staying in place the whole time. So we try to just bring it forward, show a little bit more of his back. We're now we're using black to outline his, that there's a back back there. We could even start painting all that stuff in with this dark pink. What do you guys think? How's it looking? Blue crabs are cannibalistic. Oh, is that true? His eyes need to move a bit as well. Will he be gray or red? He will be... Uh, he'll be gray in game, yeah. Uh, security risk, who's doing the voice acting? That is a great question. Uh, voice actors. Uh, Nara, Runa, and Jade are voiced by Jasmine Moran, and Finn and Grimlock are voiced by Brent Renders. Very, very, very talented voice actors and actresses, or voice actor and actress. If you guys are looking for talent for your indie game, I would definitely recommend them. Super talented. I'm gonna raise this hammer up. Just do it! Just do it! That's right, streaming bunny. Just do it, man. You guys feel like his eyes need to move more? I think this eye could do to move a little bit over. Here we go, guys. I think he's starting to look kind of solid, kind of solid. He looks kind of like a crab. And really, what else matters? Notice his, the gap in his eye stocks get screwed up throughout the animation. There we go. The shading here is popping a little bit. Nice. Save it out. Try it in game. Daniel Grimlock will be voiced by Shia LaBeouf. You heard it here first, guys. You heard it here first. Generate skins. Brodern, why do you enjoy watching this so much? Because, Brodern, you're freaking awesome. And I don't think you've had a chance to even play the game yet, guys. Let's jump into a Twitch Play Skyhook match real quick after we test out this next melee move. It's been about an hour since we started. You're awesome, Brodern. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Here is some crabby action. All right. And here's what we'll do, guys. Here's what we'll do. Very special for today's stream. Here is what we will do. I'm going to turn off debug, right? I'm going to go into our Twitch join controller, and we're going to add Grimlock as a playable character. Let's do that. For the first time ever, we'll add Grimlock. Even though he still has some placeholder animations, we'll add him as a playable character so we can start testing out how he's working out. George, let's play. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Uh, where's random character? So, on Twitch joined, uh, joined. On user join queue, get results, get selected character. First of all, we'll add uh, Grimlock as an option here. Boop, 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 jump, boop. Do some Grimlock there and some Grimlock there. He is character five. So add him as an option there, and then we have to go to where it actually gets a random character. So here on character selected by Twitch. Uh, player info equals get player info, alert Twitch joined, character ID, here is create character, if character is random then get random character, possible characters get random, 
and oops, whoopsie daisies. Here we go. Get random characters. So possible characters gets created here. Create box. Add character ID. Ah, okay. So we need to make sure that Grimlock's character box is spawned. So it's spawned here if Grimlock is unlocked. So let's just make that true. And that should show him, in theory. Brodern, can you pick up hookers in this game? Uh, you cannot, good sir, you cannot. You can pick up cats, sharks, and grappling hooks, though. Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, Vance, welcome to the crew, Vance. Thank you for the follow. How's it going, Vance? All right, there's Grimlock. Sweet, I can choose him if I want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what it's going to look like, guys, when you unlock Grimlock in the game. His flag's going to appear here. That's his flag. It's a pink crab skeleton. He jumps around, and he swings around, and he goes into his shell when he dodges. And now he slices you with his melee attack. Nyeh. Nyeh. Slice. Hey, Squidin. Welcome to the crew, Squidin. How is it going? All right, guys. I'm going to launch a Twitch Plays match, and here we go. Oh, that wasn't it. Here we go again. Uh, hello? Anybody home? Oh, no. We crashed it. So here's a, no, a known issue with um, Unity 5.3 doesn't quite handle our Twitch stuff very well. Doesn't quite handle it. I, I have to. We must have a memory leak somewhere. We're gonna have to see if we could find that out because Twitch. Uh, oh, sorry. Everybody's hashtag playing. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Such a waste. Such a waste of hashtag plays. I know. Unity crashed. Unity crashed on us. What can we do? What can we do? Unity plus. Behave. Just behave. Trying to play some Twitch Play Skyhook Unity. Just do your thing. There we go, guys. Let's do it. 25 seconds. If you guys are just watching this for the first time, Lero Smash Games, welcome. You can type hashtag play into chat for a chance to spawn in as a bot in the game. And then the bots are all going to fight it out, and the winner, whoever's bot wins, gets 1,000 doubloons. All right. Oh my gosh. So many people. I can't even read all these names. What's up, everybody? 16 people. 18 people. Can we break the record? I don't know if you've ever gone past 20. 19! Oh, almost. Lero Smash Games, first time. Ile, first time. Damage Vol. Titan Roboduck. Ah, oh, Titan Roboduck got Grimlock. Sweet. Grimlock is in the game, guys. Grimlock is in the game. Hey, Lero Smash Games, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome to the crew. Security risk, no more betting. Betting is temporarily turned off. Hey, Kubion, Kubion, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, man. 150 on stream. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. You're watching Quasi TV. We are playing some Skyhook. Ile, you don't have to do anything. The bots are going to play for you. You can vote for the power-ups and stuff you want in the game. Cannon won the vote. Nice. Green like his bets are turned off right now. So we disabled bets because it was really uh, screwing up chat and chat was getting super busy. Uh, and we actually had so many bets yesterday that the bot couldn't respond to them on time. Uh, so they're turned off for now. We'll have to work on a better betting system later on. Yeah, I know, Green like his betting was awesome. We're going to get it back. We're going to get it back, I swear. Uh, it's got to figure out... Oh, damage vol. Mod of the year gets the win. Nice. I wasn't even watching the match. I was too busy talking to you guys. I didn't even see if Grimlock performed okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to get betting back into the game. Uh, what I have to do is I have to create a timeout system for the bot so it only messages in certain delays so it doesn't message too much. Uh, then add a betting overlay like we have for the hashtag play thing. All right, guys, 15 seconds. Hashtag play to join this match. Pestilent Mars, Rusty, Kappa. Don't forget, you can choose Grimlock. You can type hashtag play. Napoke, Leash. Oh my gosh, I can't read all these names. Oh, you guys are awesome. Can we get to 20? Oh, Leash me out. Brodern. Bike Zasty. Rusty, awesome. BY Zasty, first time. Deathmatch, three lives. Let's do it. Random stage. I also turned off voting for the next stage as well, because that was causing major, major chat lag. Here we go. Whoa, someone gets taken out for the first kill. Rusty Rhino gets first blood. Rusty Rhino. So if you guys are just watching us uh, play, these are bots in the game Skyhook, a 2D platform where you can play on Steam. We have bots named after people in chat fighting it out for a chance at 1,000 doubloons.
right? Mirror gets a bunch of votes. All right, everyone turns into the cat. Who's who? Who's who? Oh, and Leash Me Out gets the win. Well done. Ah, your time, your delay is huge, George. Damn it. Sorry to hear, man. Sorry to hear. Uh, make the queue longer. Yeah, we can do that. No problem. No problem. We can make the queue longer. I'll make it 35 seconds for now. GG, well done. Leash me out. 1,000 doubloons, man. Nice. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this 35 seconds to get people more chance to join since we're, we've got about 122 people watching. And then we are going to force it to be Grimlock. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to say uh, on Twitch joined. Character selected by Twitch. Here I'm going to say bot info or new info, sorry. Uh, new info dot character ID equals Grimlock. We're going to make sure this only happens in the editor, if Unity editor, so that we don't accidentally publish this to Steam, because that would be bad, right? So if you guys don't know these, we could use these tags to surround something, so it only happens if it's in the editor. We're going to do the same thing in the character box creator, because here we hard-coded a value uh, which affects people's unlocking, like how what you've unlocked and stuff. So we're going to make sure that's Unity editor as well. All right, so we're going to force everyone to be Grimlock. We should generate his sprites before we do that, so we make sure he has all the updated sprites. Leroy Games, what game is it? This game is Skyhook, my friend. This is a game where you fight with grappling hooks. It's out now on Steam Early Access. Uh, -doo. Here we go. Let's generate some Grimlock action. Grimlock, generate sprites. Or generate skins. I we make the sprites ourselves. And we generate the red, blue, green, yellow, and whatever skins. All right, back to the main menu. Everyone's going to be Grimlock now. Green like has already typed hashtag play. Early, early. Here we go, versus mode, oops. I mean, Twitch plays mode, here we go. 35 seconds. There we go. Yeah, make sure you guys watch chat, George is in, awesome. You guys, oh, we're at 12, 13, 14, can we get to 20 guys? Can we get to 20? 17, tw 19, 20, oh man, record broken. Most people ever queued in for a Twitch play Skyhook match. Awesome stuff, 21, nice guys. So cool, so cool. 22. Nice, Broden's trying to get in five times. Love it, man, thanks for testing that out. All right, Daniel's Grimlock, Zeralith is Grimlock, DMC7 is Grimlock, and Mr. Matt is Grimlock. We got four Grimlocks, guys. Let's watch them play out. So much Grimlock right now, so much Grimlock. Oh, Wild Paradox, you just missed it, buddy. So much Grimlock right now. Here we go, Tombs of Ra. We got the blue, we got the red, we got the yellow. The yellow Grimlock looks like he's wearing a raincoat. He looks like the guy from Jaws. You know, the, this creepy guy from Jaws. All right, Speed gets two votes. Oh man, Griffin right right on top of it. Oh, and Griffin for the win. We got crab captains riding on Griffin, spitting lightning in an Egyptian tomb, guys. That is what Skyhook is. That is what it's about. Mr. Matt dominating with his Griffin. Oh, Daniel take, claims the Griffin, but misses his shot. Griffin runs out. So if you guys don't know when you're playing the game at home, Griffin is one of the power-ups you can get. It's down to Zerolith and Daniel. Slow motion gets activated. Nice, here we go. It's down to the last two bots. Wild Paradox, yeah, I fixed the issue where two people could pick the same character and color. Yeah, I fixed it over the weekend. It turns out the way we were cash I was caching what characters are taken was actually wrong. So I, yeah, I fixed that on Sunday. Thanks for bringing that up, man. So it shouldn't happen anymore in theory. All right, Daniel and uh, who's the other guys? Daniel and Zerolith with super speed now. Pestle at Mars, could you have the game put our usernames under the icons at the bottom? There's room and it's kind of hard to see the small names moving around. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a great idea, Pestle. Daniel for the win. Nice. Daniel gets 1,000 doubloons. Yeah, Pestle, that's a great idea. We could probably do that in like five seconds. Let's just drop that. All right, boom, Daniel. Lero Smash Games, we're, I'm using Unity 3D for the engine, Photoshop to do some of the art, Pixel Edit to do the animations, and Visual Studio to do the programming. 
Uh, let's jump over to our. What are we doing? Oh yeah, we we're gonna add. Um, we are gonna add the names to the hearts. Let's do that. I think that's a great idea, Pestilent. Let's do that. So heart. So the hearts are created using the heart HUD, which then spawns in these player heart prefabs. So let's drop one in here. See how that would look. So there's our player heart prefab. So in this panel, we can add another text. We could call this profile name. We can put that. I don't think we have enough space inside the panel. Put it down here. Would that work? Can I just move it like that? I always forget how this stuff works. Let's make the color white. Font size 22. Can make it about this size, about this height. Put Quasi TV in to test it. Dan, do you think it would be better to add a lighter contour to the text? Light brown, white, yellow. Light brown, Rich, white, yellow. Hey, Razneth, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow. How is it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dan, do you think we could add a lighter color? What, what's tough is, uh, the hard thing about the names, uh, especially because you guys are watching it in a smaller portion of the screen, but what's also tough about the names is that they tend to kind of merge with the background. So sometimes it's hard to Rich, make them stand out from the background because the backgrounds can be so many different colors. Uh, hey, Fearbend, welcome to the crew. Firebend, how's it going, Firebend TV? So this could work. Let's see. Oh, I meant to hit apply. There we go. The queue looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's a trade winds font. I like it a lot. So yeah, it would look like that. It's not bad. It says Quasi TV. Can move it up a little bit, and then it could just be blank if you don't have a profile name. Let's give that a shot. Let's see what that looks like. Play hearts, uh, I don't want it to be white. Do you want it to have an, I don't want it to be white. Do I want it to be the same color as the character? It could be red with a white outline. Or it could have it could be white with the outline, right? Like the outline could be the color of the character, and the text can be white. Does that look too hipster? Pistol of Mars, longer suggestion: make the names and make them a certain color for each map. Yeah, that could work too. That way they stand out clearly. You know what might actually help? I'm looking at it right now with this quasi TV title. And uh, having the text be white actually makes it stand out quite a bit more than having them be the color of the player. I notice the outlines are black. Interesting. Let's go to our player prefab. Let's try that out. We got our player indicator here. So we set the color, update color. <clears throat> so we do tile.color equals my color and arrow.color equals my color. So we could do tire.color equals, do we have the outline? Public text title, public, what do these have? Nicer outline or regular outline? Let's see, canvas text has nicer outline. So we could do nicer outline, outline. Oops, and then here we can say outline dot color equals my color. Not sure if I'm gonna like this or not, but we'll give it a shot. Outline dot effect color equals my color and title dot color equals color dot white. I don't think it's gonna be good because it's gonna kind of all start blending together. Let's see. 
I don't think it's going to be good, but worth a shot. Because what's the worst that could happen? What could possibly go wrong? Text be white with the player's color as the outline. Yeah, totally Z, uh, Z Burrito. Welcome, Z Burrito. How's it going, man? Ah, oh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, we're doing that too. There's always a stream delay, so it's hard to see what I'm doing from when you guys say it. So no worries. Uh, Kubion, how many days have you spent working on this game? Every single day since April 2014. So one year, nine months, every single day I've never not worked on it. Uh, give me my indicators, you jerk. Let's quit. Spawn here. So, okay, that didn't work. Text title.color equals color.white. Oops, redundant. Let's go to the main menu. We'll mute the audio because it gets annoying when the sound effects all play at one time. Hmm. Don't know. Kind of looks like it stands out a lot. Don't know how I feel about it. It really doesn't look like it's part of the scene, you know? Lero Smash Games, did I make it? Did I make the game? Yeah, I made the game. I do all the art and the programming. What's up, Jelly Dino? What's going on, buddy? Yeah, I, don't, I think this stands out too much. It looks very like, like some sort of like a neon sign in Las Vegas or something. You know what I mean? So I think having the names under the hearts would kind of facilitate to the problem we're having. So undo all that. We could leave that in case we ever need it in the future. Someone's going to go pirate this game. What's up? Uh, Axel, man, you're going to go pirate this game. That's all good, man. It's a pirate game, so I guess it makes sense to pirate it. Lero Smash Games, the dream is to make games like you. Well, if it's your dream, man, all you gotta do... Just do it! You just gotta do it, man. You just gotta do it. That's what I did. You just gotta do it. Don't let it be a dream. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I don't think we have that sound effect, but... Um, so, yeah. We are going to make... We're not gonna make the heart... The outline change color. I didn't really like it. We are gonna make the hearts show people's names, though, because I was planning on doing that anyway. Uh, so, player heart... Exclamation pizza. Yeah, command pizza actually just orders you a pizza. Player. What the hell is that? Oh, look at all these prefabs. I've never even seen them before. Must be from all the third party tools I've had. Player heart. Where are you? There you are, buddy. You go in here. And we have to do. What? Where's all the stuff we added? No! Did I forget to save? No! Oh, I saved it in this prefab as opposed to out. Man! Man, oh man, that's so annoying. That's a challenge to uh, making prefabs like that. I'm going to paste this into here and delete that. So you get saved now. And you can go in there and you don't show up right. You can go like there. Whoa, why is that so big? What did I do? Everything is broken. This pixel support bitmap, uh, pixel edit? I don't know, probably. Slimeology, where I learned to make pixel damage ball. Thanks for the uh, learn unity. There's actually a learn pixel art, I think. Fish. Yeah, Does there we go. Fish? Hey, Bike Zasty, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I done broke the hearts. Player hearts scale should not be 1.5 ever. I don't know why that was. And then the profile fish. name should not be zero. Hey, Axelman, welcome to the crew, Axelman. Thank you for the follow. Axelman's gonna go pirate this game, he said. I wonder if he was serious. Alright, take this out now. Hit. Uh, make sure the scale is 1. Apply that prefab. I don't know the best practices for dealing with, like, Unity UI transforms inside of stuffs. 
All right, and we'll do public text profile title. Wait for that to recompile. Have some coffee in the meantime. Some good coffee. Wild Paradox, biggest day. Is it my birthday? You remembered? Wild Paradox, you remembered? It's my birthday. It's not my birthday, guys. But if it was, if it was. All right, so here we're going to do blah, 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 blah. Animate on screen, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do right here. If um, player, we could do if player dot Twitch username is not equal to nothing. And then we're going to say my or profile title dot text equals player dot Twitch username. I also need to get the colors, darn it. I always set the colors, set colors right there. So we can say profile title dot get component, nicer outline, effect color equals player dot team color. All right. That should set our Twitch usernames on our heartsies. And that should work. That's set there, that's applied. We can hide this and see if it works. Don't crash you to tie. All right, almost there, almost there. It just doesn't animate in with the player. Everyone set to quasi TV, which is not right. We should just say, we should probably just set it. We should, we could probably just set it because it's going to be blank if you don't have a Twitch username. I think that's going to be fine. And then it's not animating in, so I wonder how the hell this stuff animates in. Is it because it's not pivoted? Heart. Here's our heart HUD. Oh no! Unity, hold on! Don't die! There we go. So here's our heart HUD. Here is our player hearts. Let's drop it into the panel. Hey, Zervox, welcome to the crew, Zervox. Thank you for the follow. You're watching Skyhook Game Development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks. Out now on Steam Early Blaxis. Vlaxis. Steam Early Access. You get it, you get it. Uh, Quasi TV, profile name. Why don't you animate? I think this whole panel animates up and down. Oh no, it doesn't stay. Okay. So we need to set the pivot or something. Why does everything else animate? That's wild. Horizontal layout group, layout element. You're nothing, but you move. Why do you move? Oh, because stretch? Because anchors? Stretch. Yeah. Now, no. Okay. Because anchors. Anchor go here. Now move. Oh. What? Go in there. Now move. Okay, that, I guess it wasn't actually in it. Hmm. Weird. It looks like it's inside of it. Is it not? That's so wild. Just put you in there. Oh, it wasn't. Wow, it was on the same level as panel. What do you know? What do you know? Ultra Uber, have I ever broken the bone? Is that a threat, man? Is that a threat? What's the total amount of files in the game? That's a cool question, Jelly Dino. Ultra Uber, you want to fight, bro? Just kidding. Uh, I have never broken a bone. Not that I know of. The size of this game is 1.2... 1.22 gigabytes is the size of the project. There are 19,584 files, 946 folders. Hope that answers the question, Jelly Dino. It's not a threat. I know, I'm just kidding, Ultra Uber. I'm just kidding. Why, have you broken a bone recently, man? Hope you're okay. I have not broken a bone, thankfully, because I mostly just sit in here where it's safe and hide from the world. Let's give this another shot. Oh yeah, Ultra Uber, totally kidding, my friend, totally kidding. Okay, so it's not showing the names there. 
Uh, what about my dong bone? I've never broken my dong bone. All right, here we go, guys. Let's try this out. Let's see if the hearts show. 35 seconds. Now is the time if you want to get into the Twitch Play Skyhook match. We got two. We got three. Can I do I see four? Do I see four? Give me four. Give me four. There, four, four over there. Four over there. Oh, Uber, you broke your leg two months ago. Shit, man. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Is it? Is it? Might take the while to recover, dude. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, man. All right, we got nine. We got nine. Can we get to twenty, guys? Can we get to twenty? We got fourteen. We got fourteen over here. Fourteen over here. Sixteen, 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 sixteen over there. Seventeen over there. Seventeen over there. We got. Do we got? Do we got eighteen? Can I see eighteen? Do I miss eighteen? Do I see eighteen? No. Oh, eighteen. Nice. Security risk. JV, what's up, JV? Welcome. Kubion, what's up, man? Ultra Uber. Everybody's Grimlock. Oh wait, Ultra Uber is Finn. How the hell did that happen? Oh, he chose Finn, didn't he? Uh, Ultra Ultra Uber, man. That's rough, man. That's rough. All right, there you go. Names are underneath the characters now. It's a little bit too big. It's not centered, but that's okay. Ultra Uber, I can go into Storage Wars. Yeah, I've been practicing my uh, my uh, what is that thing called? When everyone they shout all that kind of stuff. 18 sold. Sold to the man in the shark costume. Wait, the guy was actually a shark. Nice, Ultra Uber dominating with that ship. Kubion tries to dethrone him, but Ultra Uber abandons ship and kills everyone. Shield wins the vote. Oh, Kubion blows Ultra Uber out of the skies with his ship. If you guys haven't seen the game before, there are mounts like this here pirate ship, which you can fly around and shoot cannonballs. Uh oh, the computers are like, the computers are in deadlock. Ultra Uber is like, well, I'm going over there. Kubion's like, well, I'm going over there. Oh, that's too funny. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. They might actually be at a stalemate. Ultra Uber can't get to Kubion, and Kubion can't get to Ultra Uber. That is too good. You should go defensive at some point, but there's no chest or anything. Oh, man. The Griffin, if the Griffin wins... Oh, there we go, there we go. They made it out, they made it out. Ultra Uber, what are you doing, man? There we go, get moving, get moving. Street Bunny, switching to your laptop. Cool, man. See you on the other side. Alright, Griffin should change up the pausing in the battle. Oh, man. It's down to Kubion and Ultra Uber. One life each. Damage while smart bots. Yeah, right? They're very patient, these bots. They're very patient. Oh, Kubion for, I think, the first win. Congrats, Kubion. Congrats. You win 1,000 channel doubloons. And there is the Skyhook, the Grimlock's theme created by Julian Shanahan just played. Awesome. Kubion, 1,000 doubloons, man. Well done, well done. Uh, what did I see wrong? Oh, yeah. The text is totally not even centered at all. Uh, put this in here. I centered it based on that. Uh, how should we even... Could left align it, I suppose. Because these hearts can be different sizes. That's the problem. Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, Skarmac. Welcome to the crew, Skarmac. Thank you for the follow. I guess I should. I wonder if there's like some automatic centering thing. Because when it gets down to one life, it stops looking centered, which is kind of frustrating. So we could just make it like left aligned on the character's face, on their portrait, like that. See how that looks in game. Ah, oh, crap! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, apply this, and then reset, and apply this. Kubion, that's how we do it, man. That's how we do it. 1,000 doubloons, man. If you guys are just joining us, this is Skyhook, a 2D platformer. We're, we are working on Twitch Play Skyhook and the fifth unlockable character. You can type hashtag play now. Do it now. You can do it now to join. We're trying to beat our record of 20 people queued in for a match. Right now we have zero. What's going on, guys? There he is. Pestilent Mars. What's up? George, what's going on? Leech me out. What's up, buddy? Smash Games. Kappa, what's up, dude? Mr. Matt. X and F. 
Green Lycus, M67, Kubion. Who was that? Oh my god, I can't even. I, I couldn't. 16. Can we get to 20? Do we got 20? 17 got 17. Got 17 over here. Got 17. Five seconds to go. 18, 19. Can we get to 20, guys? Can we do it? Can we do it? Ah, oh, sold to the man in the crab costume for 19. Oh, you guys just missed it. Insan, it's Bizakti. You guys, Bizakti. Bizakti. Bizasti. Ah, oh, Jelly Dino. Guys, you would have broke the record to like 25 or something, but you just missed the queue. Just missed the queue. I'm getting used to having these giant intense lights on me. It's, you know, you get used to it after a while. Your eyes will start burning, but that's fine. Alright, you guys can vote for it. Power up these crazy bots get. Mirror, Invisi, or Cannon. Cannon wins the vote. Gosh, everybody getting murdered left and right. Ah, uh, Ultra Uber, I should get, uh, you saying I should get gunners. Yeah, that would be cool. Security race, your eyes just start burning, but that's fine. That should be a quote. We should add that as one of the channel quotes. Wait a second. It thinks Wild Paradox is Grimlock, but he's Finn. That's pretty funny. Probably because we hard-coded Grimlock in earlier. Yeah, it's a great idea, Ultra Uber. Get some, get some, uh... <coughs> get some gunners, look super fancy-pantsy. They're pretty expensive, though, I think, gunners, right? Whoa, Griffins all over the place. Pestilent Mars, X and F, here we go. Shocks, and the shocks, and the shocks don't come cheap. Going for each other, these two crabby crab crabs. All right, and he ends it with a melee, which is cool because we just made that animation. All right, and the winner is X and F, raking in those doubloons, just raking them in. X and F won the match, 1,000 doubloons. No, ah, oh, Pestilent Mars. No, so close, so close. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna take out some of the debug stuff we added. We added one in the Twitch join. We added that, which is fine. We need that. Uh, Twitch join controller. We're gonna take this out. X and have twelve thousand doubloons, dude. You are out of control. Out of control. Let's get back to some pixel art, guys. We gotta finish this character up so we can call him Dunzos. And we are just about coming up on our cooldown sketch time. 3.30... It's 3.36. If you guys don't know how it works on this channel, at around 4, 4.30, we start working on a cooldown sketch where I draw sketches based on your ideas. So get those ideas ready. Don't type them just yet, though. No spoilers. Get those ideas ready so that I can draw them in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to pixel some crabs. What's going on with you guys? How are your games, guys? How are your games? I want more game updates. Not enough game updates in chat today. Good gamer. Thanks. Looks very nice. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's out on Steam Early Access right now. The game is $5. You guys can grab it. You can play it with your friends. You can play it with your mom. You can play it with your dog if your dog knows how to use Xbox controller. You could play it on a hill. You could play it on a bill. You could play it on a shoe. You could play it with some glue. Anywhere you want, you can play Skyhook 2. <laughs> I just made that up, guys. So the bottom claw is the bigger one. That looks totally off model. If you guys are enjoying the show, don't forget, yesterday we announced that I have started taking commissions. I'm working on the first commission for Wild Paradox, who's freaking awesome, and donated $60. You guys, you guys can find more info about how the commissions and stuff work down below in the channel description. 
basically I will draw you or your favorite character or your pet or whatever it is you want. Shading in some grimy, grimy lock lock. Lero Smash Games, when was it? Sky Up 2 confirmed security risk. Uh, you just got a Nan. Oh crap, Tiny Robo Duck. Damn it, so close, so close. <clears throat> you got your idea ready, George? Awesome. Luke appears in Star Wars movie. Uh, Slime Dog, you're trying to make a simple 2D platformer? Awesome, awesome. That's a good idea. Lero Smash Game, when was it? Damage Vault, nice. Almost got me there, almost got me there. Uh, Lero Smash Games, when was it released? The game came out in early access on uh, in May of 24, 2015. And it's going to be full release very soon this year. We're going to be we're pretty much working on finishing the game here on stream. So you guys are going to watch me finish this game. Just do it, Bizxity, just do it. The game's going to be released this year, soon in the next few months. And we're going to try to finish it up while hanging out on stream. It's gonna be a long and painful process. I'll tell you right that right now. It's gonna be a long and painful road to Steam, to full release on Steam rather. But we are out on early access right now, so you guys can pick up the game. You can play along. You can get in on the grappling hook action. I am pixeling in his jacket. You guys notice what I do constantly is I frame back and forth to make sure the animation makes sense at all. And this is one of the hardest parts is when pieces start melting together as like a piece of his clothes move around. Jelly Dino donated five hundred dollars and killed Damage Vile. Sheesh, sheesh, violence. Why can't we just be friends? Why can't we just kill Damage Vile peacefully? All right, getting that in there, getting these lines in. Starting to get into some of the more finer areas. One frame, guys. That's how much one frame. Uh, good gamer, why am I using Unity? I'm using Unity because I've made my own game engine before and I don't ever want to do that again. Um, so I'm very happy with having an engine that's written for me. The main reason I'm using Unity is because of the number of platforms it supports, right? Like with one button, I can export my game to PC, Mac, and Linux. And that's the biggest reason why I use Unity. And then with two more buttons, I could, I could export my game to consoles as well. So that's that's why I use Unity. Slime Doggy, what do I draw with? I draw with a Cintiq 22 HD, which is a tablet, and I'm using a program called Pixel Edit right now. Damage Vault, thanks so much. Awesome mod. Damage Vault, such an awesome mod. Thanks for dropping those commands. Damage Vault, feel free whenever you want to fire up Sketchbot as we get closer and closer to 4 o'clock. Or rather, I guess Damage Bot is the... It's actually just all from Damage Bot, right? Alright, so he's got his little sashy sash sash. Now we need his belt. I'm watching all these little pixels, making sure they're going where I want them to go. So we got one frame. Hey, Magnifex, what's up, buddy? Security is $1,800 for this tablet. Not when I bought it, buddy. See this? Look at this, guys. This is my tablet. It's a gigantic screen that sits in front of me. Oh my god, I totally screwed up the green screen right there. Uh, this is, it's a gigantic monitor that i drawn. When I bought it, it was not $1,800, it was like $2,500. So if it's $1,800, you guys are getting at a huge bargain. 
It was pretty much all the money I saved up for my day job. Uh, and it was kind of like a dream. Like, I've wanted one of these since I was a kid, man. I wanted one of these so bad. And it's like, every day I use it, it's just like, it's it feels like a dream. It's so good. It's so good. Because I'm just literally drawing on the screen. Daniel, I'll tell you when you're ready. Oh, damage ball, you'll know. Working on the ship's winning calculation. Sweet dude. Yeah, dude, I'll, I'll announce when it's time for cooldown sketches. And uh, we got a little surprise today, so you'll know. You'll know when we're when I'm ready. going on guys <clears throat> this song link you benja tv of course man yeah i will link you the song is so good so good Let me get the url for this i'm using the keyboard yeah security risk i have a wireless keyboard that uh sits here right underneath my tablet and so i have one hand on the keyboard and then one hand with the stylus because i love my keyboard shortcuts they are so rad magnifics they are Magnifier, sweet claw. Thanks, man. Dear Smash Game, what does it do? It makes it so that I could draw on the screen. Uh, so right now I'm actually drawing on a screen. And I want what I want to do for future streams, once I get my second camera, I want to set up a second camera so you guys can actually see how I draw on this tool. Um, so we'll do that. I'm waiting for... Uh, I actually have a second camera. Uh, my sister's going to give me her one of her extra cameras. I'm just waiting for someone to mail me that. Because my sister lives in New York City. So once I get that, it's going to be pretty sweet. You guys will be able to see exactly how I work, what keyboard buttons I press, all that kind of stuff. I want to take the stream to that level. All right, this frame is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. The claw looks pretty garbage. This claw Wait, looks totally messed up. Hey, Hobo the God. <laughs> Hobo the God, welcome to the crew, man. Thank you for the follow. How's it going, Hobo God? Here we go. I think this is starting to get a little bit of a better claw than before. Somebody say fish? Hey, what's up? We got a follow from Good Gamer 468 What's up? New York City, Good Gamer. Yeah, that's where I'm from. I'm not living there now, but I grew up in New York City, so that's where my family is. Boop, boop, boop. Get some claw action from this crab fish. he's Somebody picking up fish. his claw we got another follow from you up see up biduba welcome to the crew you up how's it going thank you for the follow thanks for hanging out today you're watching me work on skyhook a 2d platform where you fight with grappling hooks we are doing some pixel art animation of the crab captain long overdue long overdue guys i can't wait to make him an unlockable fish. character you guys are gonna Somebody love him fish. you guys are gonna love him we got another follow from uh Snap! Snap, what's up? Welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow. There we go. Snappy T. Welcome for the... I'm just waiting for the bot to keep up. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, greetings from Poland, you up. Oh, man, that is awesome, dude. Hello, hello. So cool. So cool that you're all the way from Poland, man. I gotta work on the follower train. How cool would that be to have a little bit of a follower train going on? I've seen that in Stream Pro. Uh, it's your, George, it's your dream to see New York City. Awesome, why I move out of there? Well, you know, I lived there my whole life. Uh, so my current dream is to see more of the world. And so I'm, I plan on kind of moving from city to city every year to see, to experience what it's like living in different cities. Cause I grew up in New York City. So I've, you know, I kind of already experienced that. That's awesome, George. Where are you again, George? I totally forgot. I know you've mentioned it before on stream. Does the claw flip upside down when he swings? That's a good question. It looks like it does. Yeah, it looks like it does. 
thanks for catching that. Uh, Glaze, thanks for catching that, man. So this should be the bigger claw. This should be the smaller claw. Love having you guys on stream because you catch mistakes that I make in the art and make the game even better. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There's the claw. It's kind of tight because we're trying to fit it all into this tiny space. So I might just move the claw over a little bit so we get some more width from it. There it is. We got a cloudy, cloudy claw. Go to Sweden, good gamer. Awesome. George from the UK. It's 9 p.m. here. Crazy, crazy. Uh, Jelly Dino, I should move to Indiana. Is that where you are, buddy? Are you in Indiana? Plain field. You can you can travel the entire U.S. by train for $213. Really? I didn't know that. Imagine that would take forever, though. It seems like a long trip. It seems like a long trip. A buddy of mine, my old roommate, just drove across most of the U.S. on his way to Seattle. I wanted to join him, but I didn't get a chance. I was working on frickin' Skyhook. I was working on frickin' Skyhook. Uh, Pixelated is $9. Yeah, it's $9. It's all made by, like, one guy. So definitely, if you can support him, that would be awesome. He, he more than deserves it. He or his team, whoever is working on Pixelated, they more than deserve it. It's a really awesome software. And just this real-time animation window is just killer, right? Like I, you just you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Uh, and Pixel Edit, it does a lot more than just this animation stuff. It has some crazy tile editing tools. Um, let me see if I have any old ones saved. Recent documents, uh, Lava Hazard, Lava Hazard, nope. Lava Waterfall, oh, I might be able to show you with this. So, uh, no, that's not a good one actually. Viking tile set, there we go. Here is when I first like the rough draft of the white Viking tiles. So check it out. You can see the tile set right here, guys. I don't know if you can see it. There is the tile set. So I can actually just draw a tile set. So I could make these. I made these all tiles. So I could put these down here as tiles, right? So I could do all that. I could do that. And then what I can do is I can start drawing on these tiles. And it'll update on all the copies of the tile. Basically, so if I'm trying to make it like this is actually one rock. Check it out, it's updating on all of the tiles where this is used. If I want to make this like two rocks, it updated there, it updated there, and it updated there. So that's how you can make really nice tiling, like tileable tiles, because it updates in real time across all the other tiles. So it's really cool. You can try to make sure all your tiles are working well together, stuff like that. Kappa, I actually don't know how it's different from A Sprite. I haven't used A Sprite myself. I've heard A Sprite is awesome though, so if that's free and it does all the same stuff, I'll definitely give that a shot. Um, I've got all my keyboard and stuff shortcuts set up for Pixel Edit, so I'll probably be sticking with this since I already bought it. Alright, so we got a little bit of a blur here. To deal with the fact that this animation is happening so fast he's going so quickly from his hand being here to his hand being here so i decided to give it a little blur a little bit of a blur frame right there and then here we're gonna end we're gonna shade in his back so his arm is coming over his chest here, so you're not going to be able to see his collar and stuff. They're the same sprite, except Ace Sprite has a free trial. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it a shot one day. I don't want to screw up my workflow just yet, so I'm not going to change what tools I use. 
It's always a long transition period between when you change your tools and you have to get used to a new tool. Looking at the edges here of his face. This is kind of weird. So here his head goes forward and then it keeps moving forward but the rest of his head doesn't follow and then he comes down. So it could just be that his head is too far forward in this frame. Watching the association of all the pixels between each frame. What did I miss, guys? Uh, Cap, you're gonna test out both. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I have the keyboard shortcuts in Pixel Edit are period and comma to jump from frame to frame. So you guys can see me doing that over and over as I try to look at all the relationships between each body part. How about you guys though? What's going on with you guys? Are you guys ready for this week? It's already underway. How's everybody's doing at work? How are your day jobs treating you? How are your games treating you? Clean up that blur so it kind of continues into right there. Here his crabby crab claw closes. All I can think when I'm working on Grimlock is big meaty claw. If you guys ever watch Spongebob and get that reference. It's all that comes to my mind while I'm working on this crazy crazy character. So it should be like that. And it should be like that. Gordy, what's up, Gordy? How's it going, man? Thanks for coming through. Daniel, scared of the mountain of work ahead, man. Yeah, you've been procrastinating a little bit. You've been procrastinating a little bit. But all for good reasons. You got some cool stuff coming up. Wild Paradox, finish one of your big projects. Got paid for another. That's awesome, dude. What kind of work do you do? Lero, school is boring but fun. Well, at least it's fun, man. At least it's fun. <clears throat> All right. Outline this claw. It's kind of like the biggest mass on this character, so that's why I'm focusing so much time on it. Clamp. Clamps. Speaking of clamps, I have to buy some more clamps for my green screen. So I get even even tighter, even sexier. <clears throat> Wild Paradox, you work on interactive exhibits. Yes, 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 you mentioned that before. That's super cool, man. Super cool. Gonna try to keep that in mind, so I don't ask you again. Alright, got the lighting in here. Being fairly loose, not overthinking anything. This is six! Was it hard for me to get into pixel art? Yeah, it was, it was, actually. Pixel art was really hard for me to get into. Uh, Lutax, how's it going, buddy? Welcome, Lutax, how is it going? 
Uh, Lero Smash Games, when will Skyhook get updated with the Crab Cat? That's a good question, Lero. That's a good question. Uh, the goal for this week is to finish the single player, or to start the single player content. So I want to try to make at least four or five single player levels, uh, because the reason I want to do that is uh, Grimlock, Grimlock is supposed to be unlockable. So once we can make some single player levels, then we can actually make him unlockable. Uh, so hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have something that we can use to unlock Grimlock. And if we don't, it's going to be really be uh, how well we can do on stream, how quickly we can get the single player stuff done. Uh, this is X. Any tips I could share? Yeah, man. Definitely check out these articles if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> and ah, oh, thanks, Fabios. Thanks for the tools, man. Uh, Glaze, you got a 40 word essay due tomorrow, and you're here watching Quasi TV instead. Well, Glaze, we're happy to have you, man. I'm sorry we could, uh, we can't help. Oh, yeah, 40 word essay. You maybe he means 400 words. Um. Uh, <clears throat> this is like yeah of course man yeah dude getting into pixel art was super super hard for me um before i did pixel art i was only doing 3d art and like comic book art stuff like that like 2d art um so when i first got into pixel art man it was or not pixel art just pixel art it was it was a huge challenge my first pixel arts looked like complete butts i'm still convinced they mostly look like butts but it was a huge 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 challenge and then i started approaching it more in terms of like more like pointillism or like minimal art than I was approaching it like actual full-on HD art and that's what helped a lot. I started approaching it with more like painting techniques so I would like blot in colors and then blot in light and stuff like that. That also helped a lot. I stopped thinking too much about it being pixel art and more about just trying to get the image of what I'm trying to create across. I don't know if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. Right, there's that arm. Here's this arm. Let's raise that shoulder up a little bit. How's it going, guys? What face? It's a meme. It's supposed to be 40. Oh, whoa. Interesting. Interesting. A 40. Uh, <clears throat> I have to do 6,000 due in two weeks. Sheesh, George. Sheesh. Um, Lutax graduated college. Thank God. Masters is going to suck, though. Ooh, yeah. Masters, man. That's rough. Dan and Danny Beer dropped out of college. Even better. Yeah, man. Whatever. There's so many routes to get to where you need to go. I mean, I went to college, and I'm not even using any of that stuff now, but I kind of am, I guess. Zervox, do I make games for a living or just on the side? Yeah, Zervox, so I spent the last two years working on this game, almost two years. Uh, the whole two years I had a full-time job, and so this year I saved up, uh, last year, 2015, I saved up a ton of money, and I was like, I'm done, like, I'm done doing this day job stuff, at least for a little while. I want to go all in, so I saved up a ton, a crap load of money, and uh, honestly, it wasn't even that much. So I saved up a bit of money, and I quit my job, and I went full-time working on the game, which is why I'm here on stream in the middle of the day. Um, so I'm full-time right now. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm hoping I could, you know, stream and make the game and hopefully sell some copies and uh, keep that'll keep me afloat, keep me alive. As of right now, I'm just living off savings uh, while I work on the game full-time. So not exactly making a living off of it, or not exactly doing it for a living, but trying to. Trying to get there, trying to get there. Uh, Lutax, what did I do for my day job? I was the project manager of a software company. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of the development hands-on. I did some front-end stuff because I used to be the designer there. Um, so I mostly just managed the project and managed the uh, programmers and stuff like that. Uh, but it was a, uh, it was actually in C sharp, so it helped a lot. I, I got to do a lot of C sharp stuff in my day job and learned that kind of stuff. Um, uh, damn, John, so over school. Yeah, man, school's rough. You got to get through it. You can do it. You can do it. Kludgy, Kludgy, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, man. Uh, what do I major for, Patman? I got my major in CS. Yeah, I did a CS degree. Uh, when I went to college, my parents were like, well, you're not going to become an artist, so do something. Become a doctor or an engineer or whatever. They really weren't happy with me, you know, studying art. And they were paying for quite a bit of my college tuition or helping me out with some of it. Um, and they were taking out loans for me. So I was like, you know what? Let me try to make them happy, like, you know, parental pressure. So I went into engineering. Hey, Dark. Dark Alte. Dark Alte, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Um, so yeah, I went into school for engineering, and I didn't really like it that much. Uh, engineering really wasn't for me, like hardcore engineering. And so that's why I discovered computer science, and they were like, hey, you could make video games with computer science. And I was like, well, maybe if I learn this, someday I could make video games. Um, and ironically, I had to relearn everything 
on YouTube. But yeah, I, I went to college for computer science, which gave me a, it's a good foundation in what I'm doing. You know, I understood object-oriented programming when I started. I understood some simple data structures and stuff when I started. But I still have, you know, I'm still, a, I'm no, by no means a programmer. By no means a programmer. Ask any of my programmer friends and they will let you know I am not a programmer. I am an artist who learned how to code. Went through nursing first. Cool, damn, John. That's awesome. Ah, oh, Daniel, thanks so much, man. Thanks for the link. Thanks for the link. Yeah, if you guys want to help support me, donations, always appreciated. I do commissions, always appreciated. And please buy a copy of Skyhook. Always very much appreciated. Keeps me alive. Keeps me breathing. Keeps me fed. And as long as I can do those two things, as long as I keep eating food, I can keep streaming for you guys. But as always, donations are not required. They're only suggested, and I love you guys for them. Um, but you can, you're totally welcome to watch the stream and not worry about any of that stuff. Because I know you guys are also struggling game dev and struggling artists yourself. So I totally get it, man. Totally get it. All right. Here we go. What's up? If you already have a copy of Skyhook, buy another one and give it to a friend. It's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> Loot hacks. For anyone who hasn't attended college yet, do what legitimately interests you and don't let anyone sway you. Yeah, man. That's one of my biggest regrets, too. I changed my major so many times in college. So many times. Because I kept letting like every cool major sway me or every decision that someone would tell me or my parents would tell me sway me. Yeah, if I had any advice, I would give the exact same advice Loot had. Do what excites you. If you want to make games and you're in college, Go learn computer science. If you think it's not for you, F that. Just do it, man. You can. You absolutely can. If I could do it, I'm a freaking artist. I'm a freaking artist and I coded this whole game, right? You can do it. You can do it. And to, and to be honest, computer science, computer science might kick your ass, but computer science is way harder than actually making an indie game. Like, there is definitely some real computer science when it comes to making a AAA game. But if you're using an engine, if you're making, you know, you're making your own silly little games, it's way harder. Computer science is way harder than it is to actually make a game. So don't get turned off by the fact that you might be struggling in a CS degree. It is fairly challenging. That's because it's a science. And they want to make sure you're good at it. And also, all that being said, you also don't have to go to college to make games. I mean, some of the best indie game devs either didn't go to college or didn't study computer science in college. So yeah, don't think by any means you have to go to college to make games either. All, the only thing you have to do to make games is you just have to do it. That's the crazy thing. Just have to do it. Daniel, if you went back in time, you wish you did your bachelor's in CS. If I went back in time, I wish I didn't do my bachelor's at all and I wish I just started working on games in college. I mean, I wish I still went to college because that's where I met all of my lifelong friends. Um, but I would just go to college, learn CS, but just I wish I would started my games in college. I wish I started learning Unity, watching YouTube videos, because the truth is, whatever you learn in college, as much as most people are convinced it's going to make them these great game devs, it's not. I guarantee you 100%, no matter what the curriculum is, it's not going to be enough to make you a great game developer, great game designer. Um, you need to do all that shit on your own. Like College is just a system set in place to help you get started right but if you don't learn game design so if you don't watch extra credits you don't do all that stuff on your own you're not going to get anywhere all the people who sit around are just like yeah i'm in a, I'm in a game design program so i'm going to make games now like well where, where, where are the games it's it's all on your own time like your best games will come out of your own time software development is hard as fuck i agree saki i agree hobo is gonna get a phd in computer science sick man that's awesome Hey, Narcos, what's up, buddy? Narcos, good to see you. It's been a little while, been a little while. How to, how, how's it going, Narcos? How's your internet, man? How's that going? I'm missing your streams, dude. I miss watching you on stream. Hey, Mad Clouds, thank you for the host, Mad Clouds. That is awesome. This should pop up on the stream. Like there we go, monster. Mad Clouds is hosting. Thank you, Mad Clouds, you're awesome. Talking the monster HTML is fun. Yeah, I did HTML as a kid back in the MySpace days. That's how I got into, like, scripting, I guess. You guys are just joining us we are working on skyhook a game where you fight with grappling hooks we are animating the fifth character grimlock the crab captain the crabton as he's known around the stream all right that's been quite a bit of pixel art let's save him out and let's jump into a skyhook match saki the monster thank you for following saki welcome to the crew hey the void what's up the void how's it going 
All right, I'm going to turn on the music here. I'm going to start a Twitch Play Skyhook match. Let's do it. To it. I'm going to run to the restroom, guys, while this match starts up. You've got 35 seconds to type hashtag play into the chat. Bring it up. That was awesome. Pestilent won the match and got hit by a cannon in the last frame. That was absolutely insane. That was awesome. That was awesome. Pestilent, well done. Well done. Let's do another one, guys. Let's do another one. I thought there was some Grimlock action in there. I missed it. 35 seconds, guys. Cue it up. Cue it up. Hashtag play to join the Skyhook match if you guys are just joining us. This is a 2D platform where you fight with grappling hooks. We added Twitch Plays integration so you guys can play it while I'm streaming. Let's test out the new character. We got 10, 13, 14. Oh my goodness. 16. Can we get to 20? Can we get to 20? 18. 19. 20. Nice. How far can we get, guys? Snow Day, what's up, buddy? 22. Oh, man, guys. We haven't broken 25 yet. I don't think we've broken 25 yet. All right. Narcos, you missed streaming. Awesome. Seven days. Kappa, Wild Paradox, and Titan Robo Duck. You're switching service providers. Oh, still, man. It's still going. That's rough. That's rough. Yeah, I'm thinking about seeing if I get my service provider to increase my bandwidth a little bit so we can increase the quality of the stream. Alright, here we go. Here's the fight on Lava. As you guys might know on stream, Lava is not the best place for bots. The bots have a lot of trouble with that big floor of Lava. But it's also my favorite music in this game. Favorite, favorite music of all time. If you guys don't know, the music is all done by Julian Shanahan, super talented composer from Canada. All right, here we go. Wild Paradox is about to fall into the lava. Get out of there, Wild Paradox. Oh, and he chomps his Roboduck in the face. Kappa slashes seven days in the face. Oh, this makes it easier. I see the names on the bottom now, so I know who's playing. All right, Griffin gets the win. Only one Griffin, though, because everyone's at Wild Paradox. Lightnings. Lightnings. Uh, Titan Roboduck in the face and gets the win. GG, GG. Epic music, right, Seven Void? He combined instrumental music with electric guitar for this stage. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. All right, one more, guys. One more, we'll get back to pixel art. We're about eight minutes away from today's cooldown sketch, guys. Eight minutes away. If you're just joining us, hang out at 420. We're going to take suggestions from you in the chat, and I'm going to draw whatever it is that you come up with. Hey, Flash F. Thank you for the follow, Flash F. Welcome to the crew. We're at 15. We're at 16. 18, here we go, 19, 20, yes, 20 the new minimum, awesome, 22, can we get to 25 in two seconds, we cannot, George, Hobo, Damage, and Squiddins, 
Hey, we got a follow, Kibakichi. Thank you for the crew. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew, the void. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Guys, check out Grimlock Splash animation. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see Grimlock Splash animation? The void followed me on Twitter. Thanks so much, the void. You're freaking awesome. You are freaking awesome. Thanks so much. Wild Paradox, you want Quasi get Twitch partnerships? So you can choose a lower quality stream. Uh, that, that's a funny reason to want it, but that's awesome, man. Thanks so much. That means a lot. Yeah, if we ever became a partner, that would be sweet, but we're still fresh. We're still new kids on the block. So we'll take it easy and we'll just make an awesome stream, guys. Alright, Squid Ends. Damage or DM John and George. DM John and George. Oh, George with the claw melee. There it is. The, the melee animation that we're working on right now on stream. That's what we're watching for right now, seeing how it looks in the game. Everyone goes invisible. Now we can't even now we can't even watch the animation, guys. How would you vote for invisible? 157 viewers, is that a record? Uh, the record right now, Daniel, is actually 202. 202. 157 is still awesome. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, good gamer, do I have Instagram? Yeah, I'm Waste Quasi on Instagram. My Instagram is the same as my Twitter if you ever want to find me on Instagram. Uh, Daniel, the viewer record is 202. 202. Alright, George and Squidin. Squidin's on a Griffin. I freaking love the Griffins. Oh, and George takes Squidin off his Griffin. Dominating. George 9394, dominating right now. Alright, Squidens for the win! Squidens for the win! Well done. Alright, Squidens gets 1,000 doubloons. If you guys don't know, you get channel doubloons for watching, for playing, for taking part. PL got grappled in the face. PL is dead! RIP! RIP! 10 Robodunk got your code working, awesome! Daniel's got a great question. Let's do it, guys. If we break the record, the channel record for viewers is 203, sorry, 202. If we break 202 viewers, we will give away a Skyhook Steam Key giveaway today. Let's make sure that's known, let's make sure that's known. We will definitely give away a Skyhook Steam Key giveaway if we had 202 viewers. Hey, thank you for the follow! David, thank you for, oh my gosh, David, thank you for the follow. Crazy uh, username there, buddy. Crazy, crazy username. I will just call you David. <clears throat> All right, it is 4:15. We got five minutes until today's cooldown sketch, guys. If you guys don't know what happens, hey Pat, uh, Pat or Pal, Pat menu, Patman, Patman12. Welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, <clears throat> guys. In 20, uh, 20. In five minutes, we're gonna do today's cooldown sketch. What that means is, I will draw. I, crazy ideas that you guys come up with in chat. So get your ideas ready. We're going to start asking for them soon. Not just yet, though. Not just yet. You're going to have to wait for the queue. Then we'll take your ideas, and I will draw whatever the hell you guys come up with. We'll do it live on the stream for you guys to see. And it won't be pixel art. It'll be full-on 2D art. Good gamer, you're going to buy the game. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You guys buying the game is what helps me eat and helps me stay alive. Thank you so much, good gamer. Guys, we are at 160 viewers. If we get to 200 viewers today, we will give away a free key of the game. So tell your friends, tell your wife, tell your family, tell your mom. Uh, that doesn't look quite right. Um, how do we want to do these boots? <clears throat> hey, Dan and Bear, you write software all the time. It's rather simple and you get paid well to do it. Awesome. You can teach anyone what you're doing 90%. Yeah, dude, have you considered making YouTube videos, Dan and Beard? If you're like, if you're really good at teaching programming and stuff, I imagine you'd make, you'd get a ton of followers and stuff if you made a, an awesome like YouTube series of how to code. I'm sure plenty of people in chat would love to learn that kind of stuff. Hey, Pablos, Pablos, this program is Pixel Edit. It is a pixel art program, and I like it because it has this live animation window here on the right. I also use Photoshop for my 2D art and Unity for my game engine. Guys, if we get to 200 viewers, we are at 156. We'll give away a, a Steam key for the game. 
But in the meantime, get your ideas ready. Get your cooldown sketch ideas ready because we're about to cool it down yes. and sketch it up. Hey, Pablo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew, my friend. You're watching me work on Skyhook, a 2D platformer where you fight with grappling hooks. Out now on Steam Early Access. We are working on Grimlock the Crab Captain. He is going to be the first unlockable character in the game. He's going to be so freaking awesome. I can't wait to get him out on Steam. Just can't wait. There hasn't been a new character in the game in so long. He's going to... Uh, he's gonna he's gonna be awesome he's gonna be awesome and I'm not just saying that because I made it so adding in the shading for his shirt if you guys ever have any questions about what the hell I'm doing why I'm doing it always feel free to ask always feel free to ask sometimes I might do quick things that may not be so clear so yeah Jeff definitely 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 always feel free to ask I was gonna say definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely always feel free to ask. What well, Quasi, what the hell are you doing? Just 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 say that in chat. Quasi, what the hell are you doing? And I'll be like, oh, well, I'm doing this and this and this, and I'll explain why. <clears throat> Kappa, damage while program for eight years, sweet man. Uh, D DM local co-op only. Damn, if only you had friends live, they live across the country. Yeah, dude, uh, it is local co-op only now. You could play against bots if you want to play by yourself. Uh, we are gonna work on online multiplayer at some point, but haven't been able to get to it yet. It's been it's been super hard, uh, especially because I'm a one-person team, so it's been tough getting online in there. But I do want to give it a shot. Uh, we'll see if we get that into the game at some point. But no guarantees, no guarantees for online multiplayer just yet. That right there. There we go. Get some of this. All right. Damage ball still hanging out. Sweet. One more minute. One minute, guys. One minute. One minute. To today's cooldown sketch, where I will draw your crazy ideas. Get them in now. Get them in now. Or don't get them in yet. I mean, get them. Start thinking about them now. And we're about to launch our uh, cooldown sketch bot in just a sec. Just a sec, guys. Let me finish up this crab captain. PL, have I thought about bringing new people onto the team? Honestly, it's a little late in the in the development process, I think, to bring anyone else on. Um, I've, I work with contractors before, like, you know, a contractor makes the music and does the loading screens and stuff. But um, the hardest thing about bringing people on is it costs money. Uh, that's kind of something I just don't have. Like, I don't have the money to pay anybody right now, and I refuse to let, make anyone work for free. Um, so I don't really actually have the budget. I have pretty much spent the entire game's budget, so now it's up to me to do it on my own. But, um, but yeah. It's, especially if it came to like local, like online multiplayer is a very, very, very expensive task to try to, you know, ask a programmer to do. Especially if they've done it before. If they haven't done it before, then how can you even expect them to do it, you know? So if they have done it before, then they're probably pretty expensive. The Void, who did the voiceovers? Voice actors were done by Jasmine Moran and Brent Rinders. Last Skyhook game now, please gotta go. Insanits, all right, let's do it. We're gonna have one last game for Insanits before we jump into our cooldown sketch. Here we go. Here you go, Insanits. One last Skyhook Twitch plays for you before you gotta go, buddy. Guys, we're at 178 viewers. 22 more viewers, and we will do a Steam Key giveaway for this game. This 2D platformer where you fight with grappling hooks. Let's go, guys, let's go. Hashtag play to get into this match. Remember, if your bot wins the match, you get 1,000 doubloons. You can become a rich man. Oh my gosh, 22 people. 23, sheesh, you guys are awesome. You guys are freaking awesome. 10 seconds to go. Anybody else? Anybody else? Last call, last call. 24, 25, yeesh. 25 people, but only four will get chosen. Let's see who it is. Yes. Loot hacks. Yes. P hell. <laughs> Kappa. No Seven dazed. Awesome, guys. Need more viewers? Call your friends, Daniel. Call your friends. Three live deathmatch, random stage, as always, guys. We're going to do this quick match for Insanits. All right, Loot Hacks, PL, Kappa, and Seven Days. Oh my gosh, murders. Murders all around. If you guys haven't seen the game before, this is a 2D, fight, a 2D uh, platformer where you fight with grappling hooks. It's out now on Steam Early Access. We are doing Twitch Play Skyhook. Hey, what's up, Loot Hacks? Oh, Griffin gets a ton of votes! Griffin for the win! Everyone gets a Griffin mount! Oh, except Pihel and Loot Hacks who are spawning at the time. Seven Days grabs the ship. Kappa grabs his Griffin. Tries to lightning Seven Days! Oh, and gets Seven Days right in the face! Right in the face! 
Yeah, sorry, Insanis. Sorry to get in, buddy. Here you go, Insanis. I will drop you. Insanis. 500 to blue. Oh my god, I gave you 5,000 to blues. Oh shit. My bad. That was a mistake. Uh. Oh, there you, there you go. Happy happy birthday, Insanis. Kappa OP. PL is stuck on his ship. Kappa's trying to get to him. Ah, PL abandons ship. It's down to PL and Kappa. Oh, PL grabs the ship and blows Kappa out of the sky. Kappa going for the ship. Oh, misses the claw. Gets him from the behind. There we go. One life each. One life each. Who's going to get this, guys? PL or Kappa? PL or Kappa? Yeah, it's that you got five to PL for the win. Elite wins the match. 1,000 doubloons. Nicely done, man. Nicely done. Oh man, did you guys did you get the doubloons? Uh, nope, it didn't it didn't distribute them yet. There we go. PL won the match. 1,000 doubloons. Did not give it to him. Oh come on. Treasure add. PL 1337. 1,000 doubloons, PL. Sanit, see you tomorrow, man. 2 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget, you are awesome. I'm not awesome. You're awesome. Goodbye, goodbye. PL, here's 1,000 doubloons for you. Sorry, the game didn't give them to you. Um, all right, guys. Do you know what time it is? Do you know? Do you guys know? It's 424, which I think that means it is officially cooldown sketch time. Let's go. Ah, uh, the music didn't play! Wait, let's do that one more time, let's do that one more time. That didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. Let's drop that again, let's drop that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't work. Quasi, 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 where is it? Ah, oh, man. Sort by date. Where'd it go? Guys, start submitting your sketches! Damage bot is active. Damage bot is active. Let's see what's going on here. Where is my overlay? Almost had it this time. Almost had it. Sketch. There we go. Let's try that again. Whoop! Made with Unity. Oh man, now I gotta reset it and stuff. That's totally bonks. All right, screw that. We're not doing that. All right, guys. Oh, we got a bunch of sketches submitted. A bunch of sketches submitted. Awesome. Here's what we could do. You know what we could do? I could launch it here. Display one left, and let's do full screen. There we go. Let's try this one more time, guys. It is cooldown sketch time. There we go. Security risk, can you submit multiple? No, I can only submit one, buddy. Submit your ideas, guys. Yeah, Mad Clouds. I tried to make it with Unity. You overlay, I tried to overlay onto the channel, but it wasn't working. Hey, Pathane. Welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, Pathane. Crazy uh, crap, Captain. You guys are the worst. Remember to keep your ideas appropriate, guys. Keep them appropriate. George, the bot hates you, man. All right, I'll submit for George. George, your idea was... the real crap captain. All right, you gotta submit it, sweet. I think it's the quotes. You can't have quotes. You can't have quotes, guys. All right, we're gonna call it in what? For 60 seconds. In 60 seconds, we're gonna close it up.
grandma. Nice, good gamer. Jar Jar, your grandma? Alright, damage ball. Let's close it up, buddy. Let's close it up. Oh, green screen. Let's close it up, damage ball. Here we go, guys. I'm going to plop into some photoshops. Ah, oh, good gamer. Just missed it. Alright, let's start a new scene. Turn the music back on. We're going to do... A big old canvas here. If you guys haven't seen this segment of the show before, this is where we take suggestions from chat and we do sketches based on the suggestions. Yesterday we did a Super Saiyan version of myself, an annoying dog, and the dude from Castlevania. The day before that, or the stream before that, we did, oh come on, Tumblr, respond, there we go. We did a drawing of me drawing um, Gabe Newell and One Punch Man and a birthday cake. And before that, we did my favorite one of all times, a T-Rex riding a unicycle, an elephant ballerina. Ah, oh, man, we did such crazy stuff. Uh, Mad Clouds? No, man, of course, please. Unity question away. This is the game dev stream, guys. If you guys have any questions, always ask. Always ask. All right, what is the command again? Is it choose sketch? Totally forgot. Choose sketch, select sketch. Damage ball, I totally forgot the command. Pick sketch. A Yeti with a Gatling gun backpack and a chef hat. All right, guys. Today we're going to do one. We're going to start with one. W usually what I do is I pick like three or four at a time. We're going to start with one. We'll see how we go with time, and then we'll move on to others if we can. So today's cool down sketch. Cool down sketch. All black. Fish fingers. Today's cool down sketch is... A Yeti with a Gatling gun, backpack, and a chef hat? What the fuck? Security risk, you're absolutely insane. Rachel, is Skyhook smash with grappling hooks? Yes it is, sir, yes it is. It's like smash, plus tower fall, plus samurai gun, plus Mega Man X, plus grappling hooks. Mad Cloud's a good tutorial on loading scenes. Yeah, there's a great one on Gamma Sutra. Uh, Gamma Sutra loading screen. There's a great article here on loading screens. Ray Joe, hook is your favorite mechanic, dude. You gotta check the game out. The game's out on Steam. You can check it out. It's just like it's a very similar to Smash Bros. Very inspired by Smash Bros. Except you fight with grappling hooks and it's one hit kills. It's local only, but you can also play against bots. Uh, so today is sketch one. Dash, what does it say, guys? 26? 26, got it right. 16. Of course, Mad Clouds. Yeah, Daniel used that for his game as well. My game is using a very similar method for cooldown uh, cool sketches. For loading screens! Guys, we're going to draw a Yeti with a Gatling gun. What the hell is a Gatling gun backpack? This is uh, The idea here was suggested by Security Risk. Let's put his name up here. Security risk suggested. Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, Real Turk, Real Turk, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew, my friend. You're watching Skyhook, a game where you fight with grappling hooks. Right now, we're doing cool down sketches, cooling down from today's crazy, crazy game dev day of animating crab captains. Let's update. Ooh, let's update our channel. Daily stream. Cool down sketch. Photoshop and illustration. Push that up. Turret sticking out of his backpack. Interesting. Turret sticking out of his backpack. Like a school backpack? Alright. Let's do it. Let's get some reference of a Yeti. Oh, it's just a big furry bear monster creature. So we can kind of do whatever we want with a Yeti, couldn't we? All right, guys, let's jump into today's cooldown sketch. Here we go. It's time for Quasi TV's cooldown sketch. Let's get to it. 
we're drawing security risks crazy idea a yeti with a gatling gun backpack with a gatling gun backpack and a chef hat whatever the hell that means a little hello kitty backpack Ah, it's a hello kitty backpack that's a great idea So as always, we're going to rough out his pose. We're going to rough out the shape of his character. Thinking about what this guy might look like in my mind's eye. <clears throat> yeah, Maddie Clouds, I love it. Hello Kitty backpack. Damage ball, forgot to submit your own idea again. Oh, man. So this is just, he's just going to school, this Yeti. He's just trying to get to school is all, with his Gatling gun backpack. He doesn't really mean anybody any harm, it's just the only backpack they had left in the store. Oops, this is on the wrong layer. Cooldown sketch is a Yeti with a Gatling gun. How do you have a Gatling gun backpack? How did you even think of that? Security risk. You're absolutely insane, dude. He's just walking to school, actually. We're going to put him in a walking pose. You guys know I love my giant characters with teeny tiny baby feet. Yeti always gets bullied in school. So he's not in a very good mood. Or maybe he is in a really good mood. We always draw characters who are angry. So what if he's in a great mood? Everyone always draws Yeti's angry. Never skip leg day. Security risk took you a while to think of it. Little Yeti is on his way to school with his Gatling gun backpack and a chef hat. Maybe it's like show and tell day in school. If you guys are just joining the show, we are drawing today's cooldown sketch, which means we take ideas from chat that you guys suggest, and then I draw them. Like a madman, I draw them live on this show. Should have a helicopter hat if he has a Hello Kitty backpack. Let's do it, Octopus. Let's do it. He looked just like our T-Rex. This is just like our T-Rex character the other day. Give him a bow. Green Legas, give him a bow. Sunglasses? Why does he have sunglasses? He's just a kid. Oh, wait. He can't have a, a propeller hat. I totally forgot. The idea is he's wearing a chef hat. Remember, guys? He's got to wear a chef hat. For some reason, this Yeti is wearing a chef hat according to security risk.
It is not taking as long as I thought, so we might even have time to do another one, guys. Awesome. We've got your queue of sketches. So damage bots uh, bot is so awesome, we can just grab another sketch when we need to. So let's finish this one up. We'll give him... I love giving my characters bellies. Like lighter underbellies. He's got to have a Gatling gun backpack. Make a machete attached to his belt. Oh my god, an arrow to the knee. What's wrong with you guys? He's just the happy-go-lucky... He's just a happy-go-lucky little... Little, uh... Gatling gun... Freaking, uh... What the hell does a Gatling gun look like? Gatling gun... I swear, you just picked three totally random things. Security risk. Security is definitely did. At least you admit it. So they're like tubies. Quick line art for this guy so we can jump into our next sketch for the day. So trick, maybe a bow tie. Cool, let's do it. I'll drop a bow tie on this guy. I don't know where he's headed or what his plan is or why he's doing any of this. Why he has a Gatling gun backpack. Why he's wearing a chef hat. Is he a chef? Did he just kill a chef? Should we make him angry? Is it funnier if he's angry? What do you guys think? He looks like a Simpsons character almost. <clears throat> damage Vault's got 205 damage coins! Fish? Hey, we just got a follow from Alpha. Alpha, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Alpha male 23k. How's it going, buddy? Thanks for watching the show. You're watching the cooldown section of the show. That is when I draw sketches from ideas that you guys submit in the chat. We do it every day at around 4.30. So if you want to see me draw your idea, come through again tomorrow at 4.30. Submit your idea and it might get randomly selected. I never know what these are going to be, so they're always super challenging, super crazy, and a ton of fun. Looks like Simpsons. Yeah, I know, Green Light. It looks just like a Simpsons character. Which I'm, I have, don't have a problem with that. Is this window capture or monitor capture? This is monitor capture, so if I put, like, my Unity here, you could see my Unity as well. Window capture seems like it would be a lot of work. Do you recommend doing window capture, Infinite? And welcome, Infinite! How's it going, buddy?
and he has uh, his sneakers on. Hello Kitty backpack and apparently his Gatling gun backpack. Let's get that Gatling gun facing up. Green Legos looks kind of like an ape. Yeah, it does. How do you make a Yeti look like a Yeti and not an ape? Guess you just make him white and snowy? His leg looks totally broken. I wonder how you make a yeti look like a yeti and not look like an ape. Isn't that what they are? They're just snow apes? And if it doesn't show your Photoshop capture, that is freaking weird. Are you using uh, OBS? And sadly, I haven't faced any issues like that. I wish I knew what was going on. More snowflakes. <laughs> then it'll just look like gorilla in the snow. People will be like, why did you draw a gorilla in the snow? And I'll be like, well, you see, this guy named Security Risk who hangs out in my stream is insane and requested that we draw a Yeti, which I figured was just a gorilla, wearing a chef hat. So I mean, this is like where the ammo goes or something? Fuck if I know. Never use a Gatling gun on my left. Probably never will. Hopefully never will. Alright guys, there's our first sketch for today. A super duper goofy Yeti with a backpack. A Gatling gun backpack. Hey, and fan, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the crew. How's it going? I totally screwed up that shadow. I should have put it in a separate layer. going on here? Alright guys, let's do it. Jelly Dino, yeah, you can absolutely play Sky with your keyboard. Absolutely, absolutely. Bowtie, please. No doubt, Green Like is no doubt. Give him a little polka dot. Bowtie. looks awesome security risk it doesn't look awesome security risk you're absolutely insane guys we got more time let's grab another one pick sketch the next winner is titan robo duck a desert man with a little monkey on his shoulder 
Love it. I love it. Another silly idea. Let's do it. So, Titan... Titan Roboduck's idea. A desert man with a little monkey on his shoulder. Nice guys, this will be our last cooldown sketch before we get back to some Skyo game dev. You guys are insane, but I will draw it anyway. Jelly Dino might get it today. Dude, thanks so much. That means a lot, Jelly Dino. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's do Titan Roboduck's idea. His idea is a desert man. A desert man. I mean a man who lives in the desert? Desert man with a monkey on his shoulder. A desert man... A desert man with a monkey on his shoulder, guys. What is a desert man? What is a desert man? A spoon with water in his hand. Is it kind of like a person living in an abandoned desert? He's gonna have to have a monkey on his shoulder. What's this guy even doing in the desert? I was gonna draw an old man, but I'm not sure I like it. Oh, you know what we could do? We could draw, uh, like, a character from the Skyhook world. From, like, where Anara's from, right? Anara's like a desert princess. So we could draw, like, a desert assassin character who's kind of like Anara. That would be awesome. Guys, I'm going to run to the bathroom in the meantime. Do I take any art education? Uh, no, Flash, if I was taught by myself. I went to Animation Mentor to learn animation, but I learned drawing all on my own. I'm going to run to the restroom, guys. I'm going to launch a Twitch Play Skyhook match in the meantime for you guys to enjoy until I get back. It'll be 30 seconds or less.
<laughs> What's up guys? I am back. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of viewers. A whole bunch of hashtag players. Let's do it. We'll make this the last one and we'll get back to our cooldown sketch. Wow, a whole bunch of people. 12 awesome guys. Wow, some new people too. Wayne, what's up, Wayne? Okanga, what's going on, Okangu? Okangu Chu. Okangu Clue. PL. Two seconds, guys. Rusty, what's up? Green Lycus. Titan Robo Duck. PL. Cileron. Nice, Cileron. I think it's your first time. Welcome, buddy. Loot Hacks Force Play. Nice. You wish. Here we go, guys. Green Lycus, Titan Roboduck, P Hell, and Cileron! Titan Roboduck gets first blood. Green Lycus is in as Green Jade. Nice, man, nice. You always go for Green Jade, don't you? Hey, George, yeah, 2v2 mode, there actually is. Uh, I will sh there's, a, uh, there's a couple of 2v2, like team modes. There's a Sky Ball, which is a sport with a grappling hook. Oh, everyone turn into the crab, that's awesome. Wayne, you had some work to do, but now you're back watching. Oh man, thanks for joining us, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you again. Green Lake is stuck on a ship. He's like, you know what? I'm not going anywhere. I like, I like it right here on this ship. Titan Roboduck Scott Grimlock, the character we were just making on stream. Everyone turns into Grimlock. Skyball, yeah, George. You know what? I'll show you Skyball in just a sec. Oh, Tiny Robot falls off. Oh no, they both bot head to the bottom of the screen. Oh, and Green Legus gets the killing blow. Jelly Dino, let's do a Skyball match. Let's do it. Yeah, like it's a lot like Quidditch, actually. It's very much inspired by Quidditch. We'll do that right now. After Green Legus gets his points. All right. And I will cancel, 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 cancel. There we go. R.I.P. Grimlock. R.I.P. All right, check this, guys. I'm gonna go to options. Make sure my Twitch channel is activated. Quasi TV. All right, we're gonna do the classic version, the classic version where I actually play with you guys. So I will go invite Twitch chat. I will be Jade. Oh man, I didn't show the queue. Oh crap, it's not working! It's not working! It's not working, guys. What's going on? There we go, now it's working. I don't know what happened there. Weird. <laughs> Kappa play Jade Reds. All the reds! All the reds! Alright, here we go guys. We're gonna do a classic Twitch match with me playing against you guys in Skyball mode. What's going on? Oh, so many people. Awesome. Oh, my bot got chosen. Sorry, guys. Alright, I will go in as... I'll also be Grimlock. Alright, so let me show you guys Skyball. So I'll do, we'll do five points to win. So in this mode, you have to choose a team. So I'm gonna go on the red team with my bot and Kappa and somebody else will go on the uh, blue team. It looks like someone didn't get chosen for the last player. All right, we'll go into the frost guard stage. Jelly Dino, I can't talk about the percentage, but it is a some percentage. All right, so check it out guys. This is Skyball. It's a game mode where you use a grappling hook you try to throw a ball into a goal. So there's two goals, it's 2v2. Red team versus blue team. My bot is going for the ball, he's got the ball. You can pass the ball to your teammates. You can hook the ball out of other people's hands to steal it. Oh, I just got murdered.
I'm gonna pass the ball to Quasibot. Quasibot goes for the goal. Well done, Quasibot. And I'll score another goal. Pass it to Quasibot. Oh, Kappa intercepts the ball. And I fall to my due. Oh, Quasibot passes it to me. Oh no, I, I almost fell off, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm in the clear. Heading for the goal. Heading for the goal. Slam dunk. Grappling hook action, guys. This is Skyball. This is one of the game modes in Skyhook. Alright, we're on match point. Match point. One more point to win. It's me and Quasibot. Let's go, Quasibot. Kappa with a CPU. I don't know why the last CPU didn't get a name. Pass it to Quasibot. He's going to pass it to me. I'll pass it to him. He's going to pass it to me. And dunk. Yeah, this is also, George, this is my all-time favorite game mode, man. Skyball is the best. Skyball is the best. I should get some points. Drop me some points, game. Red team won the match. Points for me. Points for the bot. All right. Kappa and my team were fighting each other. Is that right? With the two bots attacking each other? Loot hacks, yeah, man. It was hugely inspired by Quidditch. Hugely inspired by Quidditch. All right, here we go, here we go guys. Back to the cooldown sketch. We we're drawing a desert man with a monkey on his shoulder. Kappa, awesome game mode. Thanks, man. Yeah, we don't get to play that too much on stream because we haven't done Twitch Play Skyball just yet. But uh, yeah, that's my favorite game mode by far. Let's do our little monkey. There's a little monkey right there. He's gonna look like a little Donkey Kong. Actually, I should get an actual monkey reference. Yeah, no, Zepper Gaming, you're absolutely right. A team score at the top with player goals on the bottom. I think that's a great idea, kind of like having like red team and blue team at the top with like how many goals they have. I absolutely want to do that. That's actually one of the reasons that um, we I had us refactor uh, team stuff. Uh, I mean, sorry, how the hearts work on a previous stream. because I, I totally want to do that. Yeah, you're totally on Zepper Gaming. Don't worry about giving me suggestions, guys. Always, always, you guys are always welcome to give me suggestions. And I'll always take them into heart. So thanks, Zepper Gaming. That's, that's an awesome idea. The monkey's just really excited to see the Yeti. He's just like, Dad, is that you? Let's get the music back on. <laughs> Icebox, you're out of here. See you later, Icebox. Have a good time. Have a good, have a good time. Tiny Roboduck. 400 bad request. Oh, that I can't copy the link from here. Let me try it on Twitch. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect, Titan Roboduck. Yeah, that's how I want him to look too. Yeah, it's gonna be helpful. Thanks, man. Yeah, the monkey's just like, Daddy, is that you? Is that you, Dad? And we can adjust his eye line to be like, no, I'm not your father. So a desert man from the world of Skyhook, just like a Nara. That hairless belly, it's so good! It's so good! So this guy is just like the ninja from Skyhook. He's from her same clan or something, maybe.
fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, welcome to the crew. What is going on? I can't see your name. Ooksy, Ooksy, twelve eighty eight. Welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow, buddy. You're watching us do our cooldown sketch where I, I draw ideas based on you guys' ideas. Is is. We do it every day at 4.30. We ask for suggestions. We choose random winners. And then I will draw it live on stream. And remember, if you guys enjoy my drawings, I will always do commissions of your characters, your original characters, your game characters, your face, your mom, your cousin, your sister, your pet dog, your pet cat. Commission information is below in the channel. We're just doing super rough, silly sketches on stream for you guys. Yeah, George, a guy in a desert near an ice cold Yeti, right? What the hell's going on in this world? How did this happen? What is the what is the backstory behind all of this? I feel like there's a great reason why these guys are all together in one place. some bandaged legs for the desert. Desert man with a little monkey on his shoulder. Let's clean him up. Green leg is color the bow tie and make the little monkey fall in love with it. That's an awesome idea. I'll make it the color of a banana. Maybe that's why the monkey's so in love with it. Adjusting the eye line here. Even just a cooldown sketch, just trying to make it look decent. As you guys probably know from previous streams, I take cooldown sketches way too seriously. Because after all, these drawings are for you guys. This sketch idea was from Titan Robo Duck, a desert man with a monkey on his shoulder. clean up this monkey. Dad, is that you? I remember that bow tie from when I was just a child. Now I feel like a dumb kid. Hey, Mr. Kapuka, what's up, buddy? Uh, George, the yellow should be a little bit taller. Yeah, I totally agree. We'll stretch him up a little bit. We'll stretch him up. Mr. Kapuka, what's going on, dude? We are in the cooldown sketch phase. We're drawing all the silly ideas from chat.
Let's get some bandages around these arms. So much rags and sags and cloth on this guy. A lot of cloth. Watching that tangent there on those two lines. Don't want them to intersect. Remember, if you guys are enjoying the stream, don't forget to give Quasi TV a follow. I stream game development every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And we do cooldown sketches every weekday as well, so you have a chance to see me draw your silly, silly ideas. <clears throat> Mr. Pugo, I haven't touched the game since your last update. Hoping to have some time to work on it. On your skill tree, sweet. Poom Poom Killa, what's up, buddy? How's it going, Poom Poom? How are you doing? We are drawing a desert man with a monkey on his shoulder. Get these bandages around his feet. They protect him from the hot sand in the hot desert. Your big toe is on the inside. I'd actually wiggle my toes to figure that one out. Someone's, I think George suggested the, the Yeti should be a little bit bigger. There he is. Let's drop the sketch of the ninja guy. Okay. Give him a shadow. guys in the middle. We'll put you guys' names right below them. Put this up here. There it is guys. Today's Twitch stream cooldown sketch. A desert guy with a monkey on his shoulder. A yeti with a bow tie. Today is the 26th or something. Soap tray, there's room for one more. Room for one more. Green like is more. All right, guys, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Let's take a vote. Let's take a vote. Whew. So if you guys want me to do a third cooldown sketch today, I want you to type hashtag more into the chat. If there's enough people who ask for more, I will do a third cooldown sketch. If you want me to do a third cooldown sketch, grab one more idea from chat. Type hashtag more into the chat right now, and I will consider it. I will consider it. God damn it. I was hoping nobody would type hashtag more. Gosh darn it. She be oh, Mr. Puka's animation is cool, man. Very cool. I love the flow and cape. Nice. All right, I think the crowd is spot. God freaking damn you guys. Damn you. The crowd has spoken. We are going to have to do a third cooldown sketch. <laughs> Rune Matrix less. I'll just I'll just erase one. I'll just erase one. You guys are the best. Oh man, you guys are the best. All right, let's do it. Is the bot still up? I hope damage bot's still around. Obama as a ballerina? Uh, I don't know if I want to do a real person. I don't like doing a real person. I don't. Is Timpish still around? Wait, I don't think Timpish is here. Timpish, are you here? If Timpish isn't here, then they won't mind if I don't do their idea. 
I, don't, I, I hate doing... We might want to make that a rule from now on. I don't like doing uh, sketches of real people because I don't want to offend anybody. So I might pull another one. Let's pull another one, guys. Let's do another pick sketch. What the hell is Yuna Gasai? Yuno Gasai. What is this? Is it an anime character? Of a crazy girl? The poke! The poke, what the hell is Yunagasai? The poke, are you still around, buddy? I have no idea what that is. I'm getting picky, I want to do something else. Yunagasai is an anime girl. I'm gonna do one more! Pick sketch. Give me something good. Coffee holic. Alright, P L E. P L E. We'll do coffee holic. Coffee holic. That one sounds like fun. That one sounds like fun. Physical Pokemon. Combining sprites uh, dynamically on pixel art is going to be a pain in the Botox. A pain in the Botox, my friend. But it can be done. It has been done. It has been done. It will be done. Let's merge all this together into one layer because I'm a madman. Put my signature there. It's not even done. And then... We're going to do P. Hell Leet's idea. P. Hell Leet... Coffee-holic. Coffee-holic. Matron of fun. Coffee-holic that in a, is a large elf? What do you mean? What's a coffee-holic is a large elf mean? I'm going to fill up on fluids here. Oh, man. Let's get into this coffee holic. We found out today that a bunch of people on stream are absolutely coffee holics. Let's do this like that. All right, a coffee holic. I spelled P Hell Leet wrong. P Hell One. Whoops. There we go. Too many L's. P Hell One E E Seven One. Thanks, dude. Oh, what the hell? Hold on. I need to get out of the full screen mode. One E E Seven. All right. There we go. Thanks, Bez. As always, when you guys catch me making a mistake. Treasure add Bez two four seven five hundred doubloons, sir, for catching that mistake. Was I spell your name wrong? Oh, I'm on the bot. That's why. Thanks for catching that, dude. Dude. All right, let's get back into our coffee holic. It's gonna be. This has got to be our last cooldown sketch, guys. L3E. God damn it, did I do that too? Shit. Good catch, good catch. Bez earning his doubloons over here. Earning the doubloons. Thanks, man. I absolutely did mean to write 1337. And now we're going to draw our coffee holic guy. The lead speed is too strong, you get used to it. What 
what is this guy doing? He's a coffee holic. He loves coffee. Jelly Dino, you're gonna ask if you could buy my game. Yes, please, sir. Yes, please. What do you mean you're gonna ask somebody else? Jelly Dino, you're poor. It's all good, man. If you can't afford to buy the game, there's absolutely no pressure, dude. There's no pressure to buy the game if you can't buy it right now. Greenlight is a place superb. Thanks so much, dude. That means a lot. Thank you. Bez, you gotta go. Oh, awesome. Thanks for the follow, Bez. You're the best. Thanks, dude. See you next time. Thanks for catching those mistakes. Make him wear a suit. Ah, Matrit, that's awesome. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just, we're trying to think about I'm trying to think about his pose real quick. I'm gonna shrink him down. He's a coffee holic, so he's gonna be double fisting. That's for sure. Okongu Chu is just my full-time job. Uh, so what I did was I worked at a day job for a few years. I saved up enough money to survive for a little while. Uh, and so it's I'm working on it full-time, but it's not exactly a full-time job, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm just kind of living off savings, working on my game, hanging out with you guys on Twitch. So it's kind of my full-time job. I mean, I work on my game 60 hours a week, if that makes any sense. But I'm not exactly getting paid to do it. So it's almost like my full-time hobby, or full-time madness. What is he doing with his legs? Where'd our music go? Let's get, let's get a brand new playlist up in here. Let's get some Julian Shanahan music. Hey, Matra, thank you for the follow, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, swing some coffee mugs for sure. It's going to be like a mug here. And a mug here. What's he doing with his legs? Got a stream, George, awesome man. See you buddy, I'll try to stop by the stream if I can later. Now it looks like beer soap tray. Does making it hot make it look like coffee? Is it because the mugs are so big? He looks like he's a drunk guy, yeah. like hey can I get you some coffee I just got back from the Keurig soap trade is getting better awesome thanks buddy hey just got back from the Keurig can I interest you in some coffee? My name's Tom and I'm a coffeeholic. 
Every programmer ever, yeah, right? Oh, not what we wanted to do. Kinda don't like his face. Kinda don't like his face. I think it looks better like that. What do you guys think? Maybe like that. Like that. Like that. Hey, Kieran, how do people work on Skyhook? Just one, buddy, just one. I work on Skyhook all by my lonesome. I'll drop the team command. Julian Shanahan is a contractor. He does the music. Uh, Catherine Murray did the loading screens, which you guys, if you guys saw, they're absolutely amazing. Someone asked me to give him a suit. So let's do that. Power cameras, there's only 10 types of programmers. Okongwachu! Why are you doing this job instead of streaming? Why are you not doing this job instead of streaming? Wait, I'm not, I don't understand how Kong with you. Those who understand binary those need to go to school. Kieran Zook, yeah, it's awesome. There's mostly po there's only positive reviews on the game. Definitely makes me very happy. Pyro camera, I need to go back to school. Oh no, I don't understand binary. Oh, there's only one zero types of per I gotcha, I gotcha. I got it now, I got it. I see what you did there, pyrochemist. Looks like ah, I need to go back to school. They used to make that joke in CS all the time. Hey, I'm you. No worries, no worries. You wrote something wrong. Hey, there's a Skyhook theme composed by Julian Shanahan. We're listening to his playlist. Damage all. What did you miss? Yeah, one last sketch for the day. We did a vote, and everybody voted on more sketches. There's a shirt, there's a thinking shirt for it? Awesome. Kearney, CS is your life. Cool dude. Coffee Holic. I really hate his face. I might redo it. Let's drop this over here. I hate trying to do the face a sec like after already having done the body, but when you don't like how something's turning out, then I think it's good to try it again and sometimes the original will still be better left arm is kind of clunky is this the left arm let me just get out of full screen mode let's merge these two layers together Sweet, Power Cameras, you're going to have something to show by the end of the week, if not earlier. That is exciting, man. That is very exciting. <clears throat> Give him wild hair. That's a good idea, Matt, right? That's a good idea. Make him wall-eyed, looking at each cup. Does wall-eyed mean your pupils are going in two different directions?
Damage while you're gonna color them. Damage while loves coloring in my sketches, guys. Sometimes even before I even get them done. He's awesome. We're drawing Coffee Holic. One of our one of our chat suggested sketches today. If you guys join us tomorrow again at around 4:30, the stream starts at 2 p.m. We work on the game, then around 4:30. At around 4:30, we do cool down sketches, where I will draw ideas randomly chosen from suggestions in chat. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. I don't know how I feel about the wall-eyed. Kieran, future plans for the game. Future plans include a single player, which we'll be working on this week live on Twitch. Uh, better AI. Prototyping multiplayer to see if that's a viable option. More characters and more stages. And then finally releasing it. I think it's time. To, I think I like this newer guy better. Let's clean him up. Let's clean him up. Look at his face. His face is way better than the old one. Dumping this old one. We're dumping it like it's trash. Current like, how long will single player take me? Uh, I'm hoping it'll take about a week and a half. We'll start it probably tomorrow on stream. Kind of go from there. I'm hoping for not longer than two weeks, at worst case. There's not going to be a very, very crazy single player. It's mostly just going to be kind of like arcade challenges and stuff like that. All right, guys, let's outline this guy. This guy's going to have a huge pupil. Followed by crazy bags. This eye is going to have a small pupil. Looks kind of like a mad scientist or any college student around finals times. The green leg is going in the trash. That's right, we dumped that old face. I like the new face way better. This just looks like a straight up college student during finals week. Pushing the features, exaggerating them even more than they already were while we're doing our outlines. He doesn't look a mad scientist, yeah. <laughs> Kappa, he has a ton of student debt, you can tell. Looks like your dad trying to get a project done, Matrid. That's hilarious. So his shirt is unbuttoned at the top. His tie is loosened because he's so stressed out. His 
tie is full of hearts. How about, tell you what, you guys could decide. I want you guys to decide in chat what pattern is on his tie. Is it nothing? Is it something? You guys get to vote for it in chat. Coffee. Oh, that's beautiful. Jelly Dino, that's so brilliant. A coffee holic is going to have a coffee print tie. That is so brilliant, Jelly Dino. Love it. Love it. Coffee is love. Coffee is life. Trying to look at how you actually hold a coffee mug. You can't actually hold it with all of your fingers because it wouldn't fit, right? I'm gonna drink some coffee actually. I heart coffee logo down his pants. But he's wearing a suit. Where did he get that such creepy pants? You know what? I'm really hating the hands grasping the thing. I think it's feeling kind of unrealistic. Let's do it like that instead. Is it stinky or is it hot? I guess it's hot, so we should give him some smoke. Give him a coffee stain. Oh, that's brilliant. Your own skills, that's an awesome idea. If you guys have been watching the stream, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, if you're enjoying watching me draw this coffee holic. Don't forget to hit the follow button down below. I stream game development, character illustration, every weekday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Oh man, I'm actually loving this drawing way more than our other drawings. Probably because we're putting so much time into it. Hey, Skin Hunter, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. We're doing cooldown sketches today. We're doing today's cooldown sketch, I mean, and it is a coffee holic. And boy, does he love coffee. Coffee Man is tons of fun. Who'd have guessed, right? I'm so glad you guys had me do the third drawing. Because we were just going to call it before. And this coffee guy turned out to be way more fun than I would have thought. His hands are a little bonkers, though. I guess they're just kind of gigantic. That's fine. They should be shaking. His hands are trembling. 
and all the coffee he drinks. Half his shirt is untucked. tie is coffee print it's got little coffee mugs on it what's going on guys Daniel just wrote down in a spreadsheet all the attacks you can think of rocket face and I just want to curl up in a fetal position and cry that's me every night my friend that's me every night currency do I work on this game off stream if so often how does that change your productivity oh yeah buddy I work on this game uh, like 16 hours a day so I wake up at 9 a.m. I start working on the game while I'm eating breakfast uh, I start streaming at 2 p.m. I stream till usually 5 or 6 and then I take a little break for like an hour or so and then around 7 30 or 8 p.m. I get back to work on the game and I keep working on it till about uh, 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. depending on when I get exhausted and then I will call it sometimes somewhere in the middle there I'll go to the grocery store or I used to go to the gym I don't do that anymore. Um, so yeah, and I definitely I'm, I'm a lot faster when I'm not streaming because I'm not talking about what I'm doing and I'm just kind of doing it. Uh, so definitely adjust my speed a little bit. So whatever, however slow I might look on stream, I'm usually a lot faster when I'm working on my own. Hey, Matrix, thanks so much for all your suggestions, dude. See you later. See you later. Skin Hunter tweak all grown up. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Dress shoes in here. Oh man, this coffee got turned to be one of my all-time favorite cooldown sketches. Thank you so much, PL, for suggesting. I don't know if you're still around, but this was an absolutely fantastic sketch idea. Kieran, do I enjoy the changing environment from alone to streaming? Yeah, yeah, it's so much fun having you guys here. I mean, I get to draw crazy stuff like this, right? Like, if I was by myself, I would not be drawing a coffee guy, a crazy mad scientist coffee guy, not even a little bit. So yeah, I love, love, love streaming. The only reason I don't do it even longer is because I would probably pass out from exhaustion or being or not eating. Uh, Pyro Cameras had the stream up on TV while you're in the other room. Uh, you came back to not being disappointed. Awesome, dude. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Glad you like it. Also, it's so crazy that I'm on your TV. It's like this is literally quasi TV if we're on your TV right now. Here is our coffee guy. Not liking this line. Nope, it's just his hips are getting too long. There we go. There's our coffee guy. Let's not forget our ever important little shadows we put in our sketches. Right. Phew. Seven days, one of my best. Awesome, dude. Thanks so much. That means a lot. Yeah, guys, we drew our coffee guy. P. Elites coffee, coffee holic. Awesome, awesome sketch. This is definitely going down into the cooldown sketch banner. 
Cody is the new name for XBMC, Roku, or Plex. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, where is George? George said he was streaming, didn't he? Let's go let me check out his profile. Daniel, is Daniel streaming today? I don't think so. I could have swore George said he was going to be streaming. Maybe he streams on a different channel? What's up? Anybody in chat streaming today? Anybody in chat streaming today? Let me know. I'm trying to see who we should uh, who we should raid today. Are you guys ready for a raid? Are you ready for a good old fashioned quasi TV raid? Are you guys ready for a good old fashioned quasi TV raid? Damage ball, Skyhooker, damage ball, no. No raid, Skyhooker's in the house. Hey, Flip Sitch, what's, what's up, buddy? Before we decide who we're gonna raid, let's very quickly drop the outro, guys. Raid hype, get it ready, get it ready. Here we go. Guys, this has been Quasi TV. I'm gonna drop the outro. All right, all right, all right, guys. It has been a crazy awesome stream. Oh, look, there's a little tiny bit of my green screen. Which side is that on? That's on this side. Look, it's a little bit of my green screen. It's a little bit of my green screen. There we go. Oh, guys, today has been an absolutely insane stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. It was awesome. We drew the coffee guy. The coffee guy is absolutely insane. He will be up on the Tumblr. Hey, Flip Switch. Yeah, I came by the stream earlier. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we are going to look out uh, for who to raid, guys. Who should we raid? Let's take a look. Damage Ball, the only thing you can stream is bot developing, game developing, or coloring the sketches. Well, all of those things sound like awesome. So let me know if you're going to be streaming. Let me know if you're streaming. Let's see who I'm following. Yeah, Kappa, right? That sounds super interesting. Damage Ball, is Damage Ball going to be streaming today? Is that what's happening? Is he going to be going live? We're going to have to raid the damage stream. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Man. <clears throat> Someone in chat said they were going to stream. But alright, let's check out Creative. Let's see what's going on in Creative right now. Creative, where are you at? Who should we stream, guys? Who should we... Not stream. Who should we raid? Who should we raid? Let's see. Laughing Manatee is doing some stuff. Ooh, we're Just on the carousel. Do Just do it. Just do it. That's right, Soap Tray. Oh, man. Bob Ross is up. Loot hacks, loot hacks, thank you, buddy. Thank you for coming through again. Ready your swords for tonight we raid. Where should we go, guys? Where should we go? Hey, there's me, there's my coffee guy. That's so cool. Damage Ball will not be raiding. Damage Ball has had a bad experience. He's had a bad experience with raids. Looking for someone drawing something awesome. Whoa, that looks awesome. But it's in Spanish. Do someone small and make their day. Yeah, let's do that. Let's find someone who doesn't have too many viewers. Let's go all the way down. Creative. Someone who looks like, oh, what is this? This looks awesome. Ranishy draws. All right, guys, we are gonna stream. Oh, sorry, we are gonna raid Ranishy draws, right? Lutex is absolutely right. We're gonna raid Ranishy draws. He or she's got 76 followers, is drawing some awesome dragon art. I love it. I love it. The raid message is Quasi TV raid or Skyhookers in the house. Your choice. Your choice. Whichever you want. Those are our raid messages. We're all gonna head over. I'm gonna head over there with you guys. We're going to jump into Ranish, Rain Ash's uh, stream. We're going to rate it up. We're going to do it real good. If you guys enjoyed the show, don't forget to follow Quasi TV. It's been an absolute blast hanging out with you guys. That's right, Skyhookers. 
It was the accidental. Oh, yeah, Kappa is in there. Pyrochemist is in there. Let's go. Let's go. Skyhooker's in the house. Yeah, Daniel. Nice. Oh, yeah. Everybody is in here. What's up? This is awesome. Guys, I will see you over there. Don't forget, here is the link to Ren, Ren Ash's channel. Let's go over there and rate it up real good. I will see you guys next time. This has been awesome. This is Quasi signing out, guys. See you later.